It's Saturday, it's 9pm here in the UK, and that can mean only one thing, folks. It's time once again for the fortnightly Fruit Salad Night, brought to you by uh, a combination and uh, a, a, a working together of the three mighty networks all Free Star Network, the Do Drop In Network, and the International Radio Network. This is GM0UUB, my name's Graham, one of your net control operators today. And uh, before we get going, let's go and see if there's any emergency or priority traffic. Any emergency or priority traffic, you know what to do, call Net Control now. Very good, nothing heard. Well, folks, the Fruit Salad Night does meet every two weeks on a Saturday at uh, 4 p.m. Eastern Time, 9 p.m. UK Time. And like I said before, it's brought to you by a combination of our three mighty networks all working together uh, with the various different net control operators from the different networks. So uh, that's why we get the Fruit Salad Net. It's a kind of combination of different flavors, styles, and tastes. Uh, today, folks, the uh, net control operators will include myself, Graham, GM0UUB, uh, Helen, Queen of Scotland, that's AMF7, HQM. We've got Gareth out there um, for the... Uh, uh, for Freestar, and he's Golf Mike Zero for Steve Uniform Romeo. And we've got N4 UPC, that's Scott from the Duke Network. As with any good fruit salad, we will aim to have an enjoyable mix on this net, and so each net control operator will respond to around about three check ins before passing it around to the next controller, and so on and so on. Let me just take a pip. Please remember that on this net we do observe social distancing, so try and leave a gap of around three to five seconds in between transmissions, just to allow all the network and the links and everything out there to take a little sit down, a wee breather and reset. Also, please be aware that there is a three minute timeout on the connections, hence, now and again, take a pip, or else you'll drop out and we'll miss the rest of your over. We are using NetLogger, folks, if you want to follow the list of check-ins getting populated there and make use of the almost instant message window for some text chat, then select the net called Fruit Salad Net. And uh, finally, this is a directed net, so when you are checking in, please give us your call sign slowly, phonetically, and twice, followed by your name and your location. So let's say uh, go round to the first net control operator to start the check-ins, um, Gareth, Golf Mike Zero, Whiskey Uniform Romeo. Gareth, are you out there, sir? And if so, the mic is over to you. And a very good evening, Graham and the rest of the team, and to hopefully all the eager participants looking forward to checking in to tonight's Fruit Salad Net. Uh, I'm Gareth, Golf Mike Zero, Whiskey Uniform Romeo. Uh, and I'm operating from Stirling in central Scotland. And I'll be putting out the first call for check-ins tonight. The first call for check-ins to the Fruit Salad Net with our theme, It's Saturday Night at the Movies. So please go ahead. As Graham said, give us your call sign slowly, phonetically, and twice, please. Please call Net Control now. Do you know what, Graham? I think they've all done a runner for the last minute concession stand, getting their popcorn and juices. So we'll give them a moment and then we'll give them another call. Participants for the Fruit Salad Net. Uh, tonight is our movie night, we're calling it, as our theme. So we're looking for check ins for the uh, bi weekly or fortnightly, sorry, <clears throat> at Fruit Salad Net. Please go ahead and call your net control now. Golf seven, Oscar Six, Golf seven, Oscar Charlie Zulu, Ryan in Bravo one, Uniform Papa Zulu, at five in Springfield, Massachusetts. Mike six, Charlie Mike Golf, M six, CMG, Mick in Lincoln. Okie dokie, folks. Uh, right, let's check. Oh, I've got it. Okay. Uh, Net recognizes uh, Mike Six, Charlie Mike Golf, and Kilo Bravo One, Uniform Papa Zulu, 
and I, I'm going to get the number wrong on this call sign. Uh, I did also hear another one, which was golf question mark Oscar Charlie Kilo, and I know I should know this call sign, but I've actually forgotten which digit it was. So uh, Oscar Charlie Kilo, uh, go ahead and remind me of the missing digit on the call sign, would you? Okay, Fred. It's Brian, Golf 7, Oscar Charlie Kilo. I'll take you one way or the other. Thank you. Recognising Golf 7, Oscar Charlie Kilo. Hi, Brian. It's Gareth. <laughs> um, thank you. I What it was, two, uh, two of you doubled at the same time, but I just about heard your voice. Um, and on the uh, carrier as well. So there we go. So that's our first check-ins on the fruit salad net. Uh, so the first one on the list, uh, Uncle Bob, a very good evening to you from uh, Scotland. I suppose it's uh, going to be, hmm, what, just uh, late afternoon for you. Uh, so that's KB1UPZ. Uh, microphone over to you, Uncle Bob. Thank you for taking the net. And good evening, everybody else. I thought I'd take a quick check-in before I sit down and have my dinner. But are we talking about movies? <coughs> KB1UPZ from GM0WUR. Well, we're kind of having it uh, as a bit of an open topic uh, along the lines of, uh, you know, it's movie night. So uh, I suppose... One of the things we could be saying for is, what snacks do you bring to a movie night? <laughs> now, I believe somebody suggested popcorn was banned. So what are the alternatives? So do you have a particular treat of choice there, Uncle Bob, that you'd like to bring to the movies? KB1 UPZ, back to you from GM0 WUR. KB1 UPZ, Oscar Charlie returning once again. Well, that's really coincidence, and when I... I said, uh, I heard earlier something about mentioning movies. On Saturday nights, it's my wife Barbara and I's movie night. And tonight we got a toss-up between two movies. One of them is The Green Mile, and the other one's Dancing with Wolves. And they're both excellent movies. Now, as far as popcorn, and there's something to, to eat along with it. Uh, we're going to have cheese popcorn. But other than that, uh, uh, we haven't decided uh, exactly which one of the movies we're going to watch. So we're still working on that. Um, we're going to see what happens. But uh, we enjoy ourselves every Saturday movie night. And sometimes it's an old movie, too. So that's good. Back over to Net Control. This is KB on UPC. Thank you. KB1 UPZ from GM0 WUR. You're right, both absolutely cracking choices there for uh, for the movie night. Um, <coughs> excuse me, frog in the throat this evening. Um, I'm, a Green Mile is uh, a particular favourite of mine. Um, I must admit that is one that I do uh, enjoy watching, um, shall we say, time and again. Um, it's just something about it appeals to me. So uh, I, I love the uh, the characters and uh, some some really good acting in that. So yeah, good one. And uh, cheese popcorn. Now that's new. I've never come across that before, but I've got to admit, it does sound delicious. So good stuff. Anyway, Uncle Bob, understand that you're needing to go and get your dinner. Uh, must admit, I've just finished something before we started the net. Uh, I wonder. Go on, tell us what it is you've got tonight. Make us all uh, feel just that. Wee bit more hungry again, would you? <laughs> to you for a final. KB1UPZ from GM0WUR. KB1UPZ once again. Well, the people that know me a lot uh, know that uh, Wednesday, uh, not Wednesday, Thursday night is mac and cheese night. But we had something else uh, for, for uh, you know, Thursday. So tonight's mac and cheese night. So for some reason or another, cheese on the brain. My wife asked me what we wanted for our movie night. So I said uh, cheese, uh, macaroni and cheese. And for dessert, 
and we're going to have cheese-flavored popcorn. And it tastes good. I'll tell you it does. My wife makes the most delicious macaroni and cheese there is on this earth. Back over to that control. KV on you, Oh, that's absolutely fantastic, Uncle Bob. Yeah, um, I, I love mac and cheese myself. Uh, unfortunately, mm, cheese sometimes doesn't agree with me too much, but I absolutely love the stuff. So I'm envious. Yeah, you, you, you enjoy that tonight. It does sound really good. Uh, great stuff. Right, the, to our next caller on our list, uh, I've got Mick in Lincoln. That was Mike 6, Charlie Mike Golf, M6CMG. Very good evening to you. Uh, and to movie night uh, this week on the Fruit Salad Net. How are you doing? And uh, what sort of snacks do you like when it comes to movies, Mick? Over to you from GM0 WUR. GM0 WUR in the group, M6 Return. Yeah, good evening. All well here, thanks. Hope everything's well at your end. Uh, Green Mile, that's a good suggestion. Uh, Brilliant film, Green Mile. Uh, but I think the one I'd go for, for just sitting and watching, is Shawshank Redemption. Uh, one of my personal favourites. I don't tire of watching that one, to be honest with you. And uh, I'm, as regards snacks and what have you, I'm going to be cheeky here. And I'm going to make out I'm still a child and going to the cinema. So I think it would have to be the... Um, Old Tootie Fruity sweet, Sweets, or um, whatever they call them now, uh, the small round things, and uh, just pure annoying people in front of me by bouncing them off their heads, hi hi. Uh, I think that's what I'd do, go back to my childhood, and imagine I'm in a cinema, M6 CMG. M6 CMG from GM0 WUR. Oh, yeah, good memories. <laughs> yes, we, we've all done that to one degree or another, haven't we? Um, yeah, it was, uh, I, know, I know one of the, one of the classics uh, was the, uh, we'd have all the sweets that are individually wrapped and it's all the rustling noise. You see how you can wind people up with it. <laughs> yes, that or the, uh, the good old uh, pick and mix, wasn't it? at the start of the cinema. I've got fond memories of that. Um, I would say my wallet hasn't. <laughs> that was used to be the most expensive bit, wasn't it, going to the movies? You get your ticket, but then they hit you when it came to all the snacks. So, ah, good stuff. So have you got any other particular favourites, Mick? Uh, any <clears throat> the snack tricks or anything? I wonder, were you a person that tried to smuggle your own snacks in when it was movie night? Uh, back to you, M6CMG. CMG returning. Yeah, yeah, I could either be classed as a Yorkshireman or a Scotsman, to be honest with you. Hi, hi. Knowing that Graham and uh, Ellen are listening as well. <laughs> um, yeah, always had them in my pockets. Uh, at that time of day, I couldn't afford to pay the cinema prices for the confectionery, as you say. Cost an arm and a leg. So, yeah, it was all in my pocket. I'd can't recollect ever buying anything from their confectioners. M6 CMG. M6 CMG from GM0 WUR. Yeah, all copy and all understood. <laughs> yeah, it definitely did used to cost an arm and a leg. Um, I do remember once uh, doing a cinema trip with some friends and uh, I made the mistake of saying, I'll buy the sweets. Um, yeah. Made that mistake once, never did it again. So, good stuff. Right, I'll move down to Brian. Hello, Brian, who's located in Crook. <laughs> and I'll leave it at that, Brian. <laughs> You've not got Graham winding me up tonight for this. So how are you this evening, Brian? That's G7OCK. Uh, pass it over to you, my friend, from gm 0 WUR. I thought I'd come in quick and miss Graham with a bit of luck because uh, he usually has a go at this for being in coke um, and I think oh, snacks for a cinema nowadays no popcorn, it's got to be wine gums 
I'm afraid it's got to be wine gums, and yes, take them with you. Too expensive buying them there. Uh, and in the olden days, uh, going back oh, a lot of years, we used to try and see how many movies we could actually get into um, free of charge. <laughs> and probably underage for a lot of them as well. From <laughs> Golf 7, Oscar Charlie Kilo. <laughs> From jm 0 you are. Ah, <laughs> you were one of those people that went hopping between movies. <laughs> so before you get caught, dash out one and into the next. <laughs> yeah, I never quite got into that one. Um, but uh, I do remember we did, uh, on a few occasions, we used to um, head up to the cinema and uh, this just going back years ago. Um, and uh, the challenge was to see how many movies we could see in the day um and uh, yeah that could get a bit interesting um so <laughs> but yes confectionery is an arm and a leg isn't it but uh, i like the idea of the uh, of the the wine gums there um yeah they're really nice uh, i must admit my personal favorite is um oh crikey the name's gone out of my head uh licorice all sorts specifically the coconut one or a great big ring of desiccated coconut around that little core of Licorice, I used to love those. So, hmm. yeah, my movie night favourite. Uh, I'll pass it back to you, Brian. Uh, see what other thoughts you might have. Do you have a particular favourite movie? I'm going to ask that one as well, just because I'm interested. G7OCK from GM0WUR. Yeah, Roger. I don't actually have a particular favourite movie. I usually only go and see the ones I fancy watching. If I don't fancy watching them, I don't go. Um, simple as. Same with television. I don't really watch that many, um, shall we say, television programs nine times out of ten. I'm usually busy doing something else, um, playing around. And uh, movies on the television just you know, don't grab me at all. Um, but I'm talking about pictures where there was only one screen. Uh, we weren't allowed to have two screens in the uh, establishments we used to go to. There was only one screen. And we used to sneak into the cinema because the uh, manager of the cinema, shall we say, wasn't as quick as on his feet as what we were from Golf 7 as off to get Charlie Kilo. <laughs> well then, Brian, that sounds like even more fun. <laughs> quick on the feet. I <laughs> know, very good. Yeah, I like that. Um, yes, things have certainly changed. Um, <laughs> with cinema, I don't think it's quite it's so easy to get away with it all now these days, is it? <laughs> Mind you, then again, who knows? Covid, everything's been shut down for so long. Hmm, see what happens when it all comes back. And uh, yeah, I know what you mean about uh, movies on TV and stuff. It's uh, quite often there's not so much on, um, but uh, you know, other times maybe. I suppose you know, coming up to this time of year, you never know. Maybe there'll be some decent stuff on, but we'll see. But uh, all, <laughs> all good stuff. I'm just thinking you're so lucky that you didn't catch Graham because, you know, nipping into movies because you were faster on your feet than the city that you're located in. I, I think he could have given you some real stick tonight. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much, Brian. Appreciate your input. I'll just pass it to you one more time if you've got any final comments. Yeah, Roger on that guy. Well, one of the ironies was, uh, at a later date, shall we say, when we got married, myself and the wife, <laughs> her uncle was actually the manager of the cinema. So that was one of the ironies at a later date, shall we say. And that's another story. And yeah, he would have had a great time, um, but no doubt. Right, I do hear, did hear somebody else there for you as well, so I'm going to hand it back to Net Control for the final, and I'll speak to you later. From Golf 7, Oscar Charlie Cable. Well, G7OCK, thank you very much. Greatly appreciated, Brian, yet. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't it? It's always ironic twist sometimes to some of the best stories, so there we go. Right, uh, that's the bottom of our initial list. So I'm going to throw it open again and look for some more check-ins, please. Some more check-ins for the fruit salad net. And this week, it's movie night. 
<coughs> as has been, excuse me, as has been said before, if you can give us your call sign, <coughs> uh, slowly, phonetically, and twice, please. We believe we had a station there uh, ending Yankee India Golf. I've just seen a message pop up here. So uh, Yankee India Golf, uh, if you're there, uh, if you'd like to come in first of all.
net runs every two weeks with a different theme each time so you know having a bit of fun with the movie night one tonight so thank you very much for uh, participating colin um <coughs> excuse me i don't know what on earth i've got stuck in my throat this evening folks um uh, right uh, so at that point uh, we'll throw things open uh, for some more check-ins and uh, i will also pass uh, proceedings over at this point to one of my fellow net controllers and that's going to be Scott N4UPC operating from Bowling Green. So over to you Scott and uh, you can take the next load of check-ins. All right Garrett. Well thank you very much uh, for taking that first load. Got some really uh, interesting suggestions for uh, not only treats uh, but for movies. Uh, as for me, um, if I was going to do it, I'll go ahead and throw mine out there. Um, I would probably want to re rewatch the uh, the Hobbit and Lord of the Rings uh, movies. Uh, I enjoy all of those. Um, and as far as a treat. I would probably go with something simple like M&Ms, uh, which is also good uh, if someone uh, gets noisy in the room. You can, you can, you know, ping them in the head with one of those. All right. This is Scott in for UPC. Uh, you joined us on the Fruit Salad Net, and we're looking uh, – our theme tonight is movie night, and uh, – we're looking for what treat you would bring for movie night. Uh, and as I said, we've had a, a lot of good suggestions already, but we're looking for some more check-ins. So if you'd like to check in with Fruit Salad Net and let us know what your preference is, please call now. Mike Zero, Tango, Zulu, Romeo. M Zero, TZR, Paul, County Down. Northeast of England. Mike Zero, Big Uniform, Bravo, and Zero Via B, Sheena Nottingham. Mike Zero, Uniform, Kilo Bravo. Mike Zero, Uniform, Kilo Bravo. Bruce in the North of England. Alrighty. Uh, we picked up uh, M0TZR, M0VUB, and M0UKB. Awesome. Uh, all right, let's go back up to the top and let's talk with Paul over there in County Durham. Uh, M0TZR from M4UPC. Uh, what treat uh, would, would you bring to movie night? And uh, while we're at it, uh, what movie would you want to watch? Uh, come ahead, sir. Mike is yours. N4 UPC, this is M0 TZR. Yeah, thanks very much for that, uh, Scott. Thanks for taking me check in, and good evening to everybody on the net this evening. Um, well, as for the movie, um, my favourite movie of all time, it's got to be Roadhouse by Patrick Swayze. Uh, really liked the. Uh, the, the character Dalton in that, um, it was a, about a, a nightclub bouncer, and as a nightclub, an ex-nightclub bouncer, um, that was uh, something that was uh, <laughs> fairly close to my heart, so I, 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 that would definitely be the film I would uh, I would watch over again. And as for the snack, I think you mentioned it, and yet yeah, they make good weapons, uh, it would be M&M's, but the peanut M&M's. The, uh, the 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 hard coated chocolate round the uh, the peanut uh, shell there, Scott over. All right, Paul. Well, yeah, that would make an extra uh, good weapon. Uh, you got that uh, hard candy shell over that hard peanut. Um, uh, that that would definitely make a weapon. Um, I'll, as I always say, you end up learning uh, new things every day on ham radio, and I just learned that uh, your former trade was bouncer. So uh, definitely, uh, definitely interesting. Uh, I bet you have a ton of stories. 
uh, and I should have clarified uh, what I said earlier. Uh, with the M&Ms, we would probably go with the ones that are filled with caramel. Um, uh, wife definitely likes that, so that's probably what we would go with. Uh, let me throw it back over to you one more time, Paul, for anything else and a final. Uh, M0TZR from N4 UPC. N4 UPC, this is M0 that. Yeah, fine, thanks for that. And uh, yeah, I don't think I've ever thrown a peanut M&M in my life in the pictures, uh, just to clarify that. Uh, yeah, definitely some uh, stories to tell uh, from my nightclub dorm days. I did that for about 10 years. And um, just the, the, the favorite, one of my favorite quotes from that uh, particular movie uh, of Roadhouse is, uh, it would get said to John Dalton in that film, I thought you'd be bigger than that. So that was my favorite um, little verse from the movie. And uh, yeah, he could definitely handle himself. Although a little bit far-fetched, because uh, um, although he could what we call crack some nut. Um, he also took a little bit of punishment. So with that, a uh, great question. Uh, it's first time for me on the net this evening. Uh, loving it, and it's a great concept. I'll swing it back to you, Scott, and uh, I'll let you go further down the list. N4 UPC M0 T did R Paul in County Down. All right, Paul. Well, thank you very much for joining us. We appreciate it. Um, we're here every other. Uh, Saturday uh, for the fruit salad net, so don't be a stranger. Come back and visit us. We have a we have a similar but different topic uh, uh, each week. Uh, usually involves some type of food item, but, but we usually get uh, to talking about other things as well. Uh, so that's why I call it a, a themed um, rag chew type net. But again, glad to have you, Paul. All right, let's break with Paul, and we'll keep it in the UK. Uh, we'll trot over to Nottingham for Mr. Shane, M0VUB from N4UPC. Uh, what uh, treat would you bring for movie night, Shane? Go ahead, please. M0VUB, yeah, KS Cotton, good evening to everybody on the net. Um, well, I really like... Um, Martin Scorsese films. I, I, I really do. And that's the fact I watched them. I, I must have watched Goodfellas probably 50 times. <laughs> Goodfellas is one of my favourite films. Uh, without a shadow of a doubt. Uh, you know, most definitely it's a brilliant film. It, it really does direct really good films. Um, you know, Joe Pesky, you, you know, all those films, you know, Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Um, that's a fact that it's put me in the mood. I might even watch Casino tonight. <laughs> but um, yeah, I love you know, love, love these films. You know, Taxi Driver, uh, Goodfellas, Casino, uh, all of that sort of stuff. Gangs in New York, is that as well. Um, I just love these sort of films. So um, yeah, he's definitely top of my list. And then obviously, uh, what would I bring yeah, to the to food to the party with that? Well. I'd even order a, a, a takeaway, maybe a big pizza or something. But if uh, if we're just going for snacks, uh, chipsticks. I love chipsticks. Uh, I'll eat a bag of those right there. <laughs> uh, I, I, you know, put a little bowl out, chipsticks, uh, maybe uh, a few Maltesers on the side, and all me and the missus. Me and the missus watch uh, films together. Most, well, in, every other evening we'd probably watch a film together. You know. And then I'll probably crack on with some service stuff. But, uh, yeah, um, that's my sort of thing. So, chipsticks, Maltesers, and Martin Scorsese. Uh, back to you, Scott, from M0 VW. All right, Shane. Yeah, Martin Scorsese, uh, he does make great movies. Uh, I'll agree with you there. I do have a question, though. Uh, chip sticks. Um, gonna need a translation on that one. Um, would that be the the little uh, fried potato uh, uh, sticks, for lack of a better way to say it? Um, so it sounds like, but I've learned that sometimes uh, what it sounds like isn't exactly what it is. 
So I'll ask you that, uh, Mr. Shane. Uh, back over to you, M0VUB from N4UPC. Yeah, that's absolutely the one. Uh, salted uh, chip sticks. Normally, find them in the sort of crisp style, you know. Um, and uh, yeah, put some of them in a bowl uh, with uh, with some Maltesers. Job done. <laughs> and actual fact, you won't even need uh, a supper uh, when you've got a bowl of them. <laughs> They're not the healthiest of things, but I, 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 I you know. If I'm watching a film or something like that, uh, Scott, you know, it's got to be said. It's got to be said. Um, you know, so uh, there you go. But uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I don't know what film I'm in the mood for now. Actually, to be fair, um, Wolf of Wall Street is good. I like the Wolf of Wall Street. Uh, that is that is really good. I like that. And uh, yeah, it's all good stuff. Anyway, I'll <laughs> leave you to it anyway, Scott. I've got, I could pull off a load of films. Um, I'm a Guy Ritchie fan as well. Very much a Guy Ritchie fan. Uh, Lock, Stock, Two Smoking Barrels is one of my uh, all-time favourites as well. So uh, those two put together are absolutely cracking. Night. All right, I'll catch you later there, Scott. This is Mike Zero, Victor Uniform, Bravo. And uh, just for everybody uh, to know, the IPSC2 Freestar DMR server is now back online. Back to you, Scott, and Zero Vigil. Okay, Shane, uh, in for UPC returning. Um, thanks for letting us know uh, about that server being back online. I know you've been um, having fits with whatever happened at the data center, uh, but I'm, uh, I'm glad you're getting uh, to the end of, of getting everything back up, that's for sure. Uh, sounds like you're going to uh, have a uh, double feature night uh, in, in your future, so uh, have a lot of fun with that. All right, we'll break with Mr. Shane, and uh, we will move down to Mr. Bruce, M0UKB. Uh, shows up in Allendale uh, there in the UK. Uh, good afternoon, Bruce. Well, for you, good evening, Bruce. Uh, what treat and what movie uh, would you bring along for movie night? Uh, over to you, uh, Bruce, M0UKB from N4 UBC. N4 UPC from M0 UKB. Hey, well, how are you doing there, Scott? Hope you're doing well. Uh, great net, everybody on the net tonight. And, uh, yeah, a really interesting uh, topic stroke question. So, what would I have? Right, uh, well, first, let's go for film. I love a good uh, action-based thriller, let's call it. Usually based on a true story. That's even better. When I get something like that, um, that that's really good. So something like American Sniper. I like a little bit of action and that sort of stuff. That's, uh, so, yeah, I'm probably going to see that. And, uh, right, the, the, the treats. Right, two options here. Could be the, uh, the jumbo uh, bucket of pick and mix. That's always a good family favorite, that is. Something in there for everybody, a bit like the fruit salad as such with the obligatory jumbo-sized uh, can of, uh, not can of, uh, drink of soda, as you guys over there would call it. You know, it's always so big, it's like a bucket. Um, but if I was going to go really upmarket, um, you've just reminded me, I've had to Google the name and I've found them. I haven't had these since I was last in the U.S., because I cannot get them in the U.K. Brookside dark chocolate-covered fruits, particularly the acai and blueberry ones. Now, I love those when I was last out there. I was into those. I may be going stateside soon for work, so I'll tell you what, I will be trying to find some of those because they were my sweetie of choice. Or my, well, I suppose they're not really a sweetie. They've got fruit in them, so they're, 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 they're supposed to be good for your iron. I suppose dark chocolate's supposed to be good for you. So uh, I'm going to say that that's uh, why I like them, but hey-ho. So, uh, yeah, excellent net. So go on there. Uh, that's my thoughts on that one tonight. Back over to you there, Scott N4, UPC from N0, UKB. All right, Bruce. Uh, very interesting. Um, you uh, reminded me, uh, I've never seen American Sniper. Um, uh, I've wanted to. I just things have come up, work, et cetera. You know how that goes. So I never I never have to, but I've got a big note here beside me now. Um, 
to remind me uh, to pull that one up. Um, and uh, I looked up the, the pick and mix. Um, uh, that looks good as well. Uh, as you said, definitely something for everyone there. Um, and uh, did want to ask you, uh, the chocolate-covered fruit, um, what was that, uh, what was the name of that uh, again, please? Uh, over to you, Mr. Bruce. M0UKB from Envor UPC. M0UKB returning, right. Uh, yeah, the, uh, the fruit, the chocolate-covered fruits. So the fruits were acai and the blueberries. They come in a little bag in a pouch, and uh, the, uh, the, the brand is Brookside. Bravo, Romeo, Oscar, Oscar, Kilo, Side, Sierra, India, Delta, Echo, Brookside. They're an American brand. And, uh, yeah, I used to love going down to Walmart and getting a bag of those. They were, that was my treat when I used to come across to uh, uh, your side of the pond for some work. So, uh, yeah, uh, I've just Googled. They are still available, I believe. So uh, they're doing a variety of flavors, but they were always the, uh, the go-to thing. So there you go. Right, uh, and, uh, yeah, uh, the, the pick and mix, the fruit salad of the, uh, of, the, of, the cinema, of the cinema world as such. So I uh, thought it was in keeping with the with the name of the net there, Scott. You're doing a grand job over you, and it's nice to uh, nice to be on the net. Uh, so back over to you, Scott. M4 UPC from M0 UKB. All right, Bruce. Well, as always, thank you much for checking in uh, with us uh, this evening. Uh, and if you do come across to the states, uh, you know, please definitely be careful. Uh, so definitely, you know. Long way to travel, so be safe, my friend. All right. Uh, well, that completes my three check-ins for this round. So I'm going to pass it over uh, to the dual control mode experts. That would be Mr. Graham and Miss Helen. Uh, so let me. I'll throw it over to Graham uh, to start with. Uh, GM zero U U B from N four U P C. Over to you, sir. N4 UPC Scott, well thank you so much sir and uh, thank you as well Gareth GM0WUR for your uh, net control duty so far but uh, this is uh, Golf Mike Zero Uniform, Uniform Bravo in dual control mode alongside Mike Mike 7, Hotel Quebec Sierra, Helen, Queen of Scotland and my name is Graham of course so thank you so much folks and all everybody that's checked in so far and they so glad that Gareth had managed to pick up that crook. Oh, no, sorry, Brian, he's in crook. Ow! Right. <laughs> That's the first spud to the back of the game. Brian's head. not a crook. Well, I think he is. He, you know, he, was, he, he goes into the cinemas free of charge. Out running the manager, getting in there, everything else, few fire exit doors, uh, getting in free of charge into a seat in the cinema. I'll tell you, if that's not a crew, who's, eh? Who's on a mice? Well, I don't know. I'm just glad we have uh, Paul out there, and he's a, he's a bouncer, so uh, maybe he can take care of uh, Brian when he's misbehaving on the nets, perhaps. I don't know. Anyway, folks, absolutely wonderful to hear you all, but uh, you know what? We're at the bottom of the list. Oh, no. Yes. So, people, come on. Check in and tell us what your favourite movie is for movie night. Yeah, it's Saturday night at the movies, folks. So we're looking for movie suggestions. And, of course, popcorn is banned. So what alternative snacks do you have smuggled into the theatre? Well, we want to know. So uh, we can only hear if you check in. So please do remember when you check in. It's call signs. Slowly, phonetically, and twice. Please call now. Victor Echo 6, Delta Charlie Victor. Victor Echo 6. Delta Charlie Victor, David in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Night 7, Alpha Golf Golf. I'm still in Thank you very much. Beautiful. GM 0 UUV returning. Hey, let me tell you who I have got. We do have Victor Echo 6, Delta Charlie Victor. That's Dave out there in Calgary, Alberta. Good to see you, Dave. We've got Andrew. Andrew's always a pleasure. Look forward to hearing what Andrew's got to say. That's Mike 7 Alpha Golf Golf. But uh, Andrew was uh, stepping on top of somebody there. He was trying to... Trying to get up, trying to get up out of the pavement and all the rest, but no, Andrew just kept him down there. And I think his call sign ended with a uniform, but uh, somebody 
else was trying to check in there. So we, I've got VE6 DCV, M7 EGG. Anyone else trying to check in this round, please a call again with your call sign slowly, phonetically, and twice. Victor Kilo 4, Kilo Uniform. VK4, his name is Ray. Victor Kilo 4, Kilo Uniform. Uh, very good. That call sign ending in uniform was, of course, VK4KU. And Ray, thank you so much, sir. It's good to see you again. I know you've been uh, on our nights before, so uh, very, very good. So thank you, Ray. We'll come round to you shortly, but uh, let's go up to the top of the list. Absolutely. And before we ask Dave what he's bringing to watch at movie night and this wee snack, let me just tell you what mine's would be. What would yours be? Well, my movie for this evening would be The Blues Brothers, mainly because it's got a bit of comedy, a bit of action, and fantastic music. Oh, yeah, music. Absolutely. It's one of those feel-good movies, and I think we'd all enjoy it, and maybe even have a dance or two. And as for the snack, well, people, I'm bringing an enormous tub of jelly beans, the proper jelly beans, so we've got a bit of everything. And they're good to throw as well, if you don't like the one you've you just had. You can other people in the back of the heat with a jelly bean. Absolutely. There you go. So, VE6, DCD, what movie are you bringing? Over to you, Dave. Ah, Victor Echo 6, Delta Charlie, Victor Redurning. Boy, I had to do some uh, quick uh, switching around because uh, I wasn't getting any sound from the team. Anyways, we're here. <sighs> a bit of work, but uh, movies, movies, and what would I bring? Boy, first of all, I am one of those that sneak contraband snacks into the movie, and I believe Heather's guilty of it, too. We both are uh, kind of throwing poor Heather under the bus, but that's all right. Um, so what, what am I, are my favorite snacks? Boy, I like strawberry licorice uh, there from Twizzlers, and I do like chocolate covered, well, you know, any type of chocolate. So Reese peanut butter cups or O. Henry or Mars bars, whatever. Um, so I bring quite, uh, quite the load and make sure I don't get caught. What type of movie I'd be watching? Boy, I like uh, Forrest Gump, which is a classic, but I certainly bring that movie. Back to Net Controls. Victor Echo 6, Delta Charlie, Victor, well, Dave, thank you so much, my friend, and Dave uh, Forrest Gump, that, that was absolutely a wonderful movie as well. Just about everyone that's been mentioned today so far, um, you know, when, I, when I'm thinking, what's my favourite movie, and uh, then other people come up with things like The Green Mile and Shawshank Redemption, and uh, all of a sudden I'm thinking, hmm, so I'm reconsidering what's my favourite movie. I don't know if I can really stick anything right to the top. I think uh, they're all absolutely marvellous and they're well worth watching over again. And um, But uh, I have to say, one of my favourite actors um, has, has always been uh, Robin Williams. So uh, whether it's anything from, uh, you know, uh, uh, Good Morning Vietnam and uh, Jumanji and uh, right through to, um, uh, you know, the, uh, oh, what's, what's the one again? Um, Mrs. Doubtfire. <laughs> You know, I I just I just thought he was a marvelous actor. I thought there was a right kind of comic, um, you know, element there. Obviously, um, made you laugh, but there was a serious element too. I just thought he was absolutely wonderful in, in all the things he did, and he uh, did like Good Morning Vietnam, that's for sure. But um, yeah, you know, there's, there's just so many good movies out there. I think um, you know, I think every day I'd probably have a a different one at the top of the list. I have to say. So we, and yes, of course, we have banned popcorn today, folks, so we're looking for alternative suggestions to snacks. And uh, so you're a chocoholic, Dave. Wow, that's, that's, always, uh, that's always kind of interesting to know. I think most of us are. Um, who is not a chocoholic? I, I love chocolate. But I have to say, my favourite chocolate happens to be a kind of dark chocolate. Uh, I do like the milk chocolate, but uh, the dark chocolate and the, uh, you know, 70, 80% uh, uh, cacao or whatever it's called, cacao, yeah, um, that's, uh, I, I do like that. I know your chocolate across the pond there and all the rest, it's a wee bit different, um, so I'm not too sure what the difference is, 
Jesus, but see, I believe it is. So, um, so there we go. But anyway, Dave, anything else for us, my friend? Uh, VE6DCV, back to you one more time. Ah, uh, yeah. VE6DCV between the big necro- uh, nec- trolls and yes. Hello, good morning, Vietnam or International Radio Network. In this case, boy, that was a classic movie. And you know what? I'm going to find it if we can find it on Netflix. Why not? Uh, if we can. I even have to watch that later. Back to net control. V6DCV, well, you go and search out out there on Netflix and just see what you come up with, Dave, and do enjoy and say hello to Heather for us. A wonderful name. I keep on saying it, Heather. Well, there you go. And her favorite color, I do believe, purple. And, of course, across here in Bonnie, Scotland, on the hills, we'd enjoy looking at all the purple. Heather, that's for sure. So, uh, good stuff. Anyway, um, Dave, thank you so much for taking the time to be here, as always. <laughs> it wouldn't be the same without you. In fact, we'd be kind of worried if we didn't hear from you, that's for sure. So, uh, okay, so we'll break with the E60CV, and we'll uh, come all the way back here to the UK, and we'll see what's happening in Andrew's world, and uh, what movie he might take, and uh, Andrew, all the popcorn's gone, you have to choose something else as a wee kind of movie snack, how about that? Mike 7, Alpha Golf Golf, Andrew, it's been far too long, <laughs> where have you been sir? Good to see you, Andrew, the mic is yours. Oh, thank you very much, Graham. Uh, uh, yes, uh, I've just been playing around really with uh, FT8. I'm actually, I've decided to uh, finally get around to studying for my uh, intermediate, so that's taken up some time as well. Uh, hopefully in the new year I'll be ready to uh, take the exam. And I've also, uh, I've joined something called the Long Island CW Club, and uh, yeah, I hope next next year, especially next spring, uh, I'll be on the air with CW. I'm, I've made it my uh, winter's goal. Who else the nights uh, have now drawn in? And we've got long nights, and there's nothing much to do outside. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'm going to definitely learn CW. Learn Morse code, and then next spring I can get out and do some portable work. You only need ten watts for CW, less than that. So that's my that's my that's what I've been doing, and, <laughs> and that's my goal. Uh, right. So, well, movies. I'm not a big movie uh, movie guy. Uh, I spend most, most of my time in the garage, either brewing beer or uh, on the radio. Uh, but there is one movie that I, I, I do like. Uh, well, I don't like. It's a spine-chilling uh, movie. It was made in the 80s. I think it was originally a BBC documentary. But not documentary, a drama, a BBC drama. And it's The Woman in Black. But it's a 1980s version. They, they've done one recently with the guy from Harry Potter, but uh, the, the one in the 1980s was absolutely spine-chilling. And uh, there's one scene especially that just, oh, it makes, oh, it just gives you the creeps. Anyway, so that's the film I would bring. Uh, either that or 12 Angry Men, which is a classic. And uh, uh, But I think I, I'd, I'd choose The uh, the Woman in Black as uh, the 1980s version as my movie. And for food and nibbles... Well, uh, that's that's easy because uh, I make me on sauerkraut, I make me on salamis and pickles, and uh, yeah, I'll, 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 I make me on cheese. I'm more of a savoury man than a sweet man, <laughs> uh, so I'd bring jars and jars of pickles, and I'd bring sticks of salamis, and I'd bring wedges of cheese, and uh, you can all help yourself. So uh, that would be my nibbles. Back to you, Net Control, Mike Seven now for Golf Golf. Well, Mike Seven, Alpha Golf Golf, a well done, Andrew. Just bang on three minutes. <laughs> the uh, the node was just timing out there as you finished. So uh, we got the whole thing. 
And, uh, well, you know, you and I, we are kind of the same as far as the snacks are concerned. That's absolutely for sure. I'm working as savoury as well. And the uh, salami, pickles, cheese, all these things, um, yeah, you know, just uh, bring them on, bring them on. Um, so, absolutely be brilliant. But, um, oh, I like your suggestion, the uh, original 80s version of Woman in Black. And, uh, yeah, absolutely wonderful. Um, so, uh, good stuff, good stuff. And the 12 Angry Men as well. Um, so, uh, yeah, very good suggestions once again. But, uh, Andrew, I have to ask you as well with this CW Club, because I do like CW myself. And um, so what are you practicing on? I, I presume it's an up and downer you're using, a wonderful key you're using, uh, or are you, you going straight on to paddle and whatever? I'm not too sure. But, um, yeah, I uh, I do like CW myself. It's my favourite mode when on HF, that's for sure. So, uh, yeah, go and uh, just just because I'm interested, maybe nobody else is, but I am. What what the uh, CW key are you practicing on, Andrew? M7 Alpha Golf Golf. Hey, uh, Andrew, straight back to you, sir. Yeah, thanks, uh, Graham. Now I've got a an up and down a strike key. Uh, it's a Kent, uh, very nice one brass on a on a wood base. When I'm out and about, what I plan to do is I've got a little small, uh, very small sort of straight key, uh, portable, sort of like a 3D printed key, uh, and I'll be using that when I'm out and about with a, a mounting topper. Uh, uh, yeah, it's a mounting topper three band, little radio, about the size of a pack of playing cards. So that's what I plan to use uh, when I'm out and about next spring. Uh, but interestingly, this Long Island CW Club, uh, I mean, their calendar is is chock solid, and you can you can pop in to any lesson you like, and they've got lessons on contesting in CW, uh, how to do a rag chew in CW. Uh, but I'm starting with the very basics, so they take you through the music. Cops Farnsworth method, and they'll take you through the whole alphabet and the numbers and uh, uh, certain procedural signs. Uh, but they actually advise you to start with a straight key before you move to a paddle, uh, unless you've got uh, some sort of uh, medical condition, uh, you know, your movement in your wrist or something like that. Uh, they, they recommend that you start with a straight key first and then move to a paddle, which is quite interesting because uh, a lot of people say, now just go straight to a paddle. But uh, they, they recommend you start with a straight key. And it's all done via Zoom. So, uh, yeah, yeah, it's just a Zoom lesson, Zoom meeting. Uh, there's lots of people in the same uh, class. And uh, they do them several times a week. In fact, every day, Monday to Friday, Monday to Sunday, it's just a full calendar of different lessons that you can just pop into anytime you like. So uh, I'm using uh, this Long Island CW club, and uh, hopefully I'll be on the air uh, on, on the CW frequencies. Uh, well, it, hopefully in the new year. Uh, but definitely for next spring. But I'm using an up and down. Uh, I've got a Kent key and uh, a little portable 3D printed key as well. Back to you. Hey, M7, Alpha Golf Golf. Andrew, well, thank you so much, sir, for all the information. And, uh, well, you can't beat the Kent keys, that's for sure. So you're uh, going straight in there with the posh stuff. That's good. <laughs> it's, not, uh, it's, it's not posh. It's just good quality. That's what it is, good quality. And uh, I've always uh, always carried on with the uh, up and downers. Um, in fact, um, you know, my, my favorite key, um, uh, you can, I think you can maybe still buy them, um, but uh, they're actually uh, check uh, the keys, up and downers, um, wartime ones. There's uh, there's no noise from them whatsoever. You don't even hear them tapping and all the rest. And uh, but it's a lovely smooth action on them. And uh, they were uh, built for um, in, in wartime and all the rest. But they were never used. So uh, so basically they're very very old. Um, but they're all kind of still wrapped up in their original wrapping and they're available to buy quite cheaply. I have to say. And uh, I have to say, I've uh, had some quite expensive keys and everything else, 
Um, but uh, that, uh, that that one is just an amazing thing to uh, to work with. It really is. And uh, I've, I've got paddles and uh, the bugs as well, the bug keys and everything else. Never really mastered them, um, but they uh, always always go back to the up and downer. So um, good stuff. But uh, well, there you go. You know, uh, Andrew, maybe in the new year, maybe in springtime, uh, you and I we might be uh, maybe on 40 meters or something and uh, have a wee rag chew on the key. That would be amazing. <laughs> so uh, okay, we we'll look forward to that, Andrew, and thank you so much for your contribution, sir. And uh, yeah, I like your savoury choices as alternatives to popcorn. That's for sure. So, uh, good stuff. Okay, Andrew, we'll say seven C's to you just now, sir, and thank you so much. And we'll go all the way around the other side of the world and see who's hanging upside down. And uh, there we find Ray. And uh, he's out there. A, what's QD? I'm not too sure. State of Queensland, of course. Uh, Queensland. <laughs> there we go. Thank you, uh, Helen. Um, VK4, Kilo Uniform. Uh, Ray, welcome to the night, sir. Thank you so much for uh, checking in. And it's a Saturday night at the movies, although in your case, it'll be Sunday morning at the movies. So, um, Ray, welcome, sir. And uh, your choice of movie, and uh, no popcorn allowed, so alternatives to popcorn for your snacks. Uh, Ray, once again, welcome. The microphone is all yours. Yeah, the K4 Kilo Uniform Ray. Uh, and I'm at a place called Maruchidor. There's one, Maruchidor. Um, 60 miles, 100 kilometers north of the capital city of Brisbane. Now, movies. Ah, um, I haven't made the movies for 20 or 30 years. I don't think they make them today like they used to. Why I like them. Everybody's taste in movies is different. So, but one thing I have definitely will never, ever have is popcorn. When my wife eats it, she usually has it when we're on a cruise ship. Um, I don't go near it for three weeks. Oh, smell of popcorn. Yeah, makes me feel mm, nauseous. Is that the correct word? <laughs> So there you are, I've growled at everybody now and uh, upset all your listeners. Um, but there is something that's very important this morning. Now listen very, very carefully. N4 UPC Scott, I'm following him around and making sure. Hang on, we just had somebody come through on turn meters and it's about to start. Yeah, N4 UPC. You be very, 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 very careful with him. I follow him and check him all the time. Somebody's got to keep an eye on that man. <laughs> all right. Uh, they're already calling me for the start of the two-meter net, so I'll have to run off and leave you people. Thank you very much for a great bet and uh, putting up with a grumpy old uh, KU. So <laughs> thank you. And just remember the... Um, Cattle prod still around. BK for KU. Thanks. Well, you know, Ray, thank you so much, my friend. You've got a big smile on my face, that's for sure. And, uh, yeah, was it you that uh, advised my wife, Helen, MM7HQS, to, uh, rather than just give a wee scud in the back of the heat, use a cattle prod? Was that you, Ray? Back to you, sir. Oh, I am a good boy. I would never, ever suggest anything like that. <laughs> Ray, it's amazing. Thank you so much, my friend, for checking in. I know you've got another two-meter night to go and uh, join there, so uh, you can go and do your mischievous um, call in there, too. <laughs> and, uh, and thanks for the warning for, for Scott there in for UBC. He is somebody we have to keep a watch on, that's for sure. But uh, we'll do our best to uh, make sure he uh, stays in line and behaves himself. Uh, but thank you for the warning. So, uh, Ray, always a pleasure, my friend. Thank you so much. And uh, uh, the popcorn, there you go, <laughs> makes you nauseous. Well, um, yeah, it's... Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, at the beginning of the night, uh, Uncle Bob was uh, bringing up a uh, cheese popcorn. And uh, actually... I don't mean he was bringing up cheese popcorn like the cheese.
cheese popcorn disturbed the stomach and he had to bring up the cheese. But uh, he, he brought um, up the topic of cheese popcorn. And uh, I've never tried it, but I actually did see it in a shop uh, here in Scotland just a few days ago. I pointed it out to, to Helen. And uh, <laughs> Helen says it maybe tastes like smelly feet. I don't know. Um, I've never t- tasted a smelly feet. But um, there we go. But uh, maybe <laughs> Helen has. I'm not too sure. Have you? Have you? Well, I, well, smelly, anything stinks, because that's why it's called smelly, I don't know. Folks, it's all going awry here, but there we go. But uh, that does bring us down to the bottom of the list, so we're going to be passing it round to our friend GW0WU, uh, just, sorry, GM0WUR. That's uh, Gareth over there in uh, Sterling to uh, maybe bring some more check-ins. So, uh, folks, um, please uh, please stand by. I'll be passing it on now to uh, GM0WUR, Net Control. Uh, you take it up, sir, and uh, let's get a new list of check-ins. Over to you, Gareth. Uh, from GM0WUR, thank you very much, Graham. And, uh, yep, that's right, folks, it's that time again. We're looking for some more check-ins for the Fruit Salad Net. I'm um, sure there's plenty of people out there that have been listening in and having a good old giggle, but why not come and join in yourselves? We're having a laugh. The theme being that it's Saturday night at the movies. What snacks are you bringing? That's kind of diversified to favourite movies and all sorts as well. So let's see what happens next. So some more check-ins, please, for the fruit salad net. Uh, please go ahead and call in with your call sign slowly, phonetically, and twice, please. Echo Zero, YWP, Yankee Whiskey Papa, 20, YWP. Okay, uh, just the one at this time. Net recognizes 2 Echo Zero, Yankee Whiskey Papa, which according to NetMogger, uh, that's Douglas in Norwich. So, good evening to you, Douglas. How are you doing this evening? Microphone over to you. Zero YWP. Uh, good evening to everyone. Uh, evening, girl. <coughs> I was just having a giggle as Graham was saying about that. You know, yeah. Um, so I, I have to bear with me sometimes because my brain is not working. I've got medical problems, so I've been on the net for about on the radio for a long about six months now. I haven't been on it for 30 odd years from, through medical problems, so my brain's not working properly, so forgive me for that. Um, my my favourite movie is Alamo. I've, I've always liked the westerns, and I like the both. One with the John Wayne one, and the other one, uh, I can't remember his name now, who was in it. Um, it's up to date one. That's a movie I would take with me, both of them anyway. Um, what I would eat half would be, somebody mentioned jelly beans, that's my favourite. I love jelly beans, and jelly bellies, and I like to have peanuts as well. Uh, uh, back to you guys, uh, 20 YWP Retirement. <coughs> to Echo Zero, Yankee Whiskey Papa, from GM Zero WUR. Well, thank you very much for that. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, oh dear. <clears throat> Sorry, something stuck in my throat, folks. One second, please. Okay, GM zero W, you are returning. I can breathe again. Yay! Uh, <laughs> right. Okay, Douglas. Yeah. Thanks very much for uh, for the information there. Yeah, I know we've, we're getting certainly some diverse. Um, little choices and uh, things and everything there, so you know, nice having uh, yours in the melting pot as well. Now, there's a little um, question that's floated across my desk <laughs> in the course of the net um, this evening, um, which has been to do with um, types of movie venue. And uh, I'm just going to throw this out. This is a random question for you, Douglas. But have you ever uh, experienced a drive-through movie at all? Are there even such things in 
uh, and around Norwich. Um, I believe in some parts of the UK, so I've seen um, that they were done during the courses of all the lockdowns and things, but I don't know if that was just localised to one area or is it something that's been done on a wider scale and maybe I've just been hibernating all this time. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, back to you, 2E0, w, uh, sorry, YWP from GM0WUR. 2E0YWP. Um, that, yeah, you, you just gave me a lot of thought there. You, or it was, I think I saw one that was arranged, and I can't remember where it was. I don't know it was an actual up the stick somewhere. And I did arrange something like that, but I've never been to one. I'd like to go to one and give it a try, but I'm afraid I don't travel very well. So, yeah, it would be interesting. But, yeah, I just can't remember. No, there's something sticks in my mind about it when you mentioned that. But, you know, I've never been to one, but I'd love to. Uh, two is the reward of your period coming. Yeah, 20YWP. Well, thank you very much for that, Douglas. And uh, yeah, interesting. I was to say, it was just uh, one of those things I thought, oh, I'm going to ask the next person I speak to that question. And just because uh, I've seen it, <clears throat> as I say, uh, passing across some of the other messaging channels uh, this evening. Uh, personally, it's not something I've ever um, had experience of. I'm aware of it. Um, I've seen uh, a site where drive through movies were done. Um, that was many years ago when I actually had visited the United States. Um, I believe US, uh, it's quite a popular thing to do, uh, as much as I understand. So that was the reason for the question. Well, splendid. Thank you very much, Douglas, for checking into the net this evening. And uh, at this point, I'll see if there are uh, anybody else out there that would like to come and join the fun with the fruit salad net tonight. Is there anyone else who would like to check in and have some fun with us this evening? Please go ahead and call your net control now. Net control. W-A-1-E-A-W. Okay. Net recognizes Whiskey Alpha 1 Echo Alpha Whiskey. And uh, that comes up as David. Now, whereabouts are you, David? Because I must admit, I can't remember all the different abbreviations for the different states in the US. So you're going to have to uh, let me know on that one. And uh, I wonder, well, do you have a, a favorite movie? Is it movie night tonight on the uh, fruit salad net? Uh, and uh, also, what do you think as regards snacks? Now, we're having a bit of a laugh with it because we're saying popcorn's banned. I think that's just because it's just too easy an answer to come up with, but what other snacks and goodies and whatnot would you uh, would you have for a movie night out there, David? Uh, so, Whiskey Alpha One, Echo Alpha Whiskey, uh, Mike Crane, over to you. Well, I am first of all a very big fan of Echolink in general and do drop in in particular because it's almost like there's a 24-hour, seven-day-a-week call-in show going on. But as far as the, um, the snacks, actually, I just finished a bowl of Chex cereal. That's spelled Charlie Hotel Echo X-Ray. That's the cereal. I don't know how far out it goes internationally, but it is packed with a lot of different vitamins and minerals. And right now I'm trying to uh, consume more iron in my diet. So I mix that with protein powder. But, of course, the protein powder in a, in a liquid form would probably not go over too big in the theater. But... Uh, the checks would be very good. And I'm curious, uh, Hub VOIP, is that uh, a service or is that the name of a conference? Go ahead. Okay, GM0 WUI returning. Excuse me, silence my phone there that's beeping. Um, <clears throat> right, uh, yes, understand about the uh, choice of snacks and things. Now, your question uh, as regards Hub VOIP, 
Um, can I just double check with you on that one? Is that um, what uh, what comes up on your screen as regards what it is that you're connected to? Uh, I wonder if you can just uh, clarify that one for me. Uh, from GM Zero WUR. Okay, the thing that comes up when uh, when you're talking is uh, it looks like a U.S. call sign, but uh, at the end of it is ham hub hyphen or no, excuse me, ham v o i p hyphen hub. That's ham as in ham radio. V O I P as in Internet hyphen hub H U B. Okay, David, from GM Zero W U R. Aha. <laughs> and we've just got the answer for you. <laughs> I was just looking it up and uh one of my co hosts for this evening, Scott, has come in and told us what the answer is. Uh, right, okay. Um, <clears throat> what you're seeing there coming up is the uh, identifying name uh, for the All-Star Link Hub uh, that you're connected into tonight, um, which is uh, part of uh, Do Drop In uh, Network. Uh, it's actually looked after by Scott N4 UPC. Uh, so that's what it is uh, that you're connecting into. Uh, and then from there, through the uh, mass of connections and downright wizardry at times, <laughs> uh, you, you're uh, from the Dewdrop inside, you're connected through, and uh, we're linking up then with the International Radio Network and the Freestar Network, uh, which is what I'm operating on tonight uh, from within the UK. So uh, all the networks come together. Uh, it does make things quite interesting sometimes because... Uh, depending on what modes you're using and things, uh, the the identifying tags that can come up on the screen don't necessarily match <laughs> who or what it is that you're talking to, because there can be lots of stuff upstream as well. So I hope that answers that question for you, David. I'll just pass things back to you. Uh, WA1EAW from GM0WUR. Yes, that makes it clearer. Uh, although there is a lot of verbiage there, there is the call sign, uh, something else. My mind is not working at full capacity to remember. But And then at the end, I believe it's that phrase that I mentioned. And there might actually be something else after that. Go ahead. Yes, it's quite likely actually that uh, that after it, it will also make mention of the uh, node number, um, which, uh, from what Scott's telling me here, um, the uh, the node number is five two eight seven nine. So, yeah, it depends on how the screen formats the information that it's receiving. But yeah, there'll be there'll be various things like that. So that's what it is that you're connected into anyway. Um, so you're coming into uh, an All Star Link hub, and uh, from there coming into the other networks as well. <clears throat> so there we go, David. Um, thank you very much for checking into the net. And I wonder, can you just remind me once more, what was the name uh, of that snack that uh, you particularly uh, uh, has highlighted you you bringing to the movie? Uh, just because I'm afraid I can't read my own handwriting. Uh, back to you one last time from GM0 WUR. This is a cereal that you eat, and it's an old line cereal. It's been around for many, many years. The name, once again, is Chex, and that is spelled. I spell phonetically Charlie, Hotel, Echo. X-ray and name of cereal. Go ahead. Uh, GM zero W, you are returning. Thank you very much for that. And uh, 
who we say a certain internet search engine is my friend this evening because I've just typed that up and it's appeared on my screen. And you know what? I actually recognise the packaging um, <laughs> now from uh, one of my trips uh, over to the US uh, some time ago. I said, ah, yes, there we go. That looks absolutely delicious. I'm so glad that there are no snacks within reach of me tonight because I can't admit this is <laughs> this is making me hungry. <laughs> and thank you, Scott. He's just sent me a mixed recipe as well. I'm definitely going to have a look at that one. So splendid. Thank you very much, David. And uh, at this point, I'll ask, uh, are there more check-ins for the Fruit Salad Net? Our theme tonight, it's movie night. We'd like to know what movie would you recommend and what snacks are you bringing? The snacks are the all-important bit. So some more check-ins for the Fruit Salad Net. Please go ahead and give us your call sign. Slowly, phonetically, and twice, please. Well, my fellow net controllers, I wonder what you're all thinking as well. I think all these talk of snacks has made everyone hungry. And right now, all our listeners are rustling through the fridges and trying to see what's in the bottom of the crisp barrel, amongst other things. So we'll give them all a moment, let them connect the, collect their goodies and their refreshments. Got to make a nice, tall glass of soda right now with icing. We we'll personally do a real number. Um, although it might actually be a case of going for the coffee. Uh, <laughs> who knows? And of course, time zone differences, as just being reminded there, it's also dinner time in some parts of the world. Oh, dinner time, my favourite time of day, uh, next to breakfast and lunch. Uh, so, <laughs> so we'll see, uh, now that we've given everyone maybe a moment or two, maybe they've run back to the radios. Let's see, is there anybody else out there for the fruit salad net tonight? Our theme, it's movie night. Some more check-ins, please. Go ahead and call now. Kilo, Lima, Southern, Foxtrot, Romeo, KL7, Fox, Romeo, Mike and Willow, Alaska. N3 NTV. November 3, November Tango Victor, David, Mowbridge, South Dakota. Okay, folks, just left a bit of a long pause there um, because I thought we had a couple other people that were trying to get into the system, uh, but <clears throat> nothing was heard, so we'll come back and uh, check out with them shortly. In the meantime, Net recognizes two callers. We have November 3, November Tango Victor, that's David, and Kilo, of course dear, phonetic alphabet just went straight out of my head there. How terrible. Kilo, Lima, Seven, Foxtrot, Romeo. Um, and uh, I, think that, uh, I think he said it was Mike. Um, it comes up on NetLogger as Michael, so you can let me know which is it you prefer. Um, <clears throat> as we pass things down to you next, so KL7FR, a very good evening to you, movie night tonight, what favourite movie have you got, and what would be your all-important snacks of choice? Microphone to you, my friend, from GM0WUR. This is Kilo Lima 7, Foxtrot Romeo, Mike in Willow, Alaska. Currently about 8 degrees above zero Fahrenheit. It was minus 3 earlier this morning, so I'm Chillo and Willow. And uh, it has switched r node radios. How's my uh, audio coming through now? Well, greetings to you there, Mike. And uh, I think I may have actually spoken to you before on a different net, or then again, maybe it's just that I remember hearing your voice. Uh, but anyway, that's beside the point. Your question, your audio, yes, you're coming through uh, loud and clear, no problems at all. Uh, so whatever it is that you've been working on, it's definitely doing the job for you. Pass it back to you, KL7FR from GM0WUR. Okay, thank you. Well, I'm not very much of a movie guy, but uh, if I was going to a movie tonight, 
night, I'd want to watch something kind of bizarre and off the wall, so I would choose Pulp Fiction as my movie. And for my snack, I would bring grain. Normally at movies, I suck seeds, but I ran out of seeds, so if at first you don't suck seeds, try, try a grain. Back to net control, KL7 Frozen Radio, 7-3 to everybody on the fruit salad net. KL7 Frozen Radio, I love that. (laughs) Very good, Mike. I'm going to remember that one, definitely. <laughs> and uh, the grains sound nice as well, yeah, seeds and things, yeah, so all good, all good stuff, good wholesome stuff. Nice snacks to be able to have on hand when you need them. <laughs> so, uh, splendid stuff, lovely to be able to uh, make contact with you up there in Alaska. Um, <clears throat> I wonder, just uh, for my information, um, what is uh, your local time at the moment in Alaska? I'm still trying to get my head around all the different time zones. Um, I mean, for us, it's, uh, where am I, uh, just after half past ten in the evening in the UK. So I uh, wonder if you can tell me what local time is in Alaska, please. Uh, back to you. Uh, KL7 FR returning. The local time here is currently 13.33 or 1.33 p.m. Uh, so we're nine hours ahead or behind. Nine, I'm not sure. Nine hours. I have to add nine hours to my time to get UTC, so it must be 20.33 UTC, but it's 13.33 Alaska Standard Time is my local time. Back to net control, KL7, Frozen Radio. Yeah, thank you very much for that, David. Uh, appreciate, uh, sorry, Mike. Um, <clears throat> uh, appreciate uh, the information uh, there. And uh, yeah, nine hours. Um, that's that's why I work it out to as well. Uh, it's just interesting. Uh, I say I'm still trying to get used to where all the different time zones are uh, uh, and everything. I actually do need to get myself a map on the wall. Uh, or some such thing as a reference. So, yeah, there we go, I'm learning. Anyway, splendid. Lovely to be able to uh, make the acquaintance on tonight's net. So our next uh, caller that I had here was November 3, November Tango Victor, N3NTV, which uh, comes up here as David. Uh, Good evening to you. Uh, Microphone to you, my friend, from GM0WUR. Oh, good evening, good afternoon, good morning to everybody, wherever you're on the third rock of the sun. You've got David here in Mobridge, South Dakota, and I am literally, I'll say, you know, I would say six blocks, but seven blocks away from the Central Mountain Time Zone. So currently here it is 16.35, by what, literally half a mile uh, south of me, I'd go to the Mountain Time Zone, but uh, tonight is uh, normally movie night, but since the fact that you know, I live in the United States, but I was born up in Canada, I'm a native of Montreal, and my Montreal Canadians are playing tonight, so after we have our date night, when I'm straight for, I'm having steak and I'm like a hamburger, but get home, we're watching hockey tonight, and if we were doing a movie, our snack would be pizza, so it's absolutely gorgeous here right now, the winds are blowing like crazy, it's 47 degrees right now. And uh, winds are currently at 22 miles an hour. Actually, and we're, the winds are so bad they blew the power out. <laughs> we were like an hour and a half of no power. So, yep, yeah, it'll be hockey night tonight. And uh, everyone knows me. I'm a, I'm a hardcore Montreal Habs fan. No matter what, win or lose, they're my team. So with that, back to that, and I'll be having some adult beverages most of the evening. And free NTV, David, and as I'll say, more beer, South Dakota. Back to that. From GM Zero W U R and the fruit salad that ah splendid stuff, yes pizza ah good stuff. Now that's one thing that I really wish uh, that it could come over this way. I mean pizzas in the UK are nice, but 
proper, real American pizza, especially the sizes of the pizzas you guys do. I mean, <laughs> that takes it to a level of an art form. And I love my pizza. I really do. There's nothing that can beat a good pizza. And uh, even more so when you've got a couple of cold ones there on the side. That just sounds absolutely delightful, David. And uh, I hope you really enjoy your game this evening. Um, sounds good. And I believe I heard you say you're doing steak as well. So, oh, <laughs> you're talking my language. This sounds absolutely awesome. I'll see you once more in case you've got any other uh, comments that you want to add in <laughs> before I carry on down the list. Uh, from GM0W, you are back to you. Okay, very good. Yeah, when I was, when I was doing nets on Saturday nights, I was always inviting guys. But, you know, first first person shows up to the restaurant. Uh, of course, I am the only ticket in town. There's no, there's no one else in the you know, town has, what, 3,500 people. I'm the only ham in town. And uh, I always tell the first ham to show up, we'll get a free steak dinner. Been doing that for years, and what's up I've done here? No one's responded, so I'll say it again. First one to show up tonight. I'll be leaving here in another 20 minutes, to, and the restaurant's only four blocks away. So, good ribeye steak, good steak, and beers are cold too. So, yeah, we're gonna enjoy tonight, and we'll definitely love our hockey. It's uh, I'll watch the Montreal Canadiens. I'll be I have one game here in the radio room. I got one on the big screen, and. Get, hopefully catch a couple late games, who knows. So with that fact tonight, I have a great evening and hope to catch you next week. N three N T V Dave and more beer South Dakota. Back to next. N three N T V for GM Zero W U R. Absolutely splendid, David. And I tell you what, if the magic word Scotty beam me up <laughs> if only that would work, I would definitely be taking you up. <laughs> on the steak and beers tonight. <laughs> Good stuff. Have a really great evening. Sounds like you're going to have a lot of fun. Uh, at that point, we're at the bottom of the list. Uh, so I will pass things uh, over to my fellow net controller. Uh, that will be Scott in for UPC. Uh, round to you, Scott, for uh, marshalling in some more check-ins for tonight's rather delicious and, uh, at this rate, completely non-diet friendly. <laughs> <laughs> Fruit salad net. And for UPC from GM Zero W U R. All right, Graham. Or uh, Gary. Sorry about that. Um <clears throat> uh, I was just noticing that uh seems like uh every other week that we do this net, uh it's catching on more and more and more. And that's really great to see. Uh, and uh, on another note, uh, Dave's uh, invitation there for a free steak dinner, uh, one of these days a bunch of us are going to you know, meet there uh, in Mobridge and surprise him one night. So he better be saving his money. That's all i got to say. All right, well, we are looking for more check-ins uh, for tonight's Fruit Salad Net. Uh, the topic is movie night. And uh, while we did start asking out uh, what treats you would bring or snacks you would bring to uh, a movie night, we also want to know uh, what movie you'd like to see, uh, since they do go hand in hand. So at this time, we're going to be asking for some more check-ins. If you'd like to check in uh, to the Fruit Salad Net, uh, please come now with your call sign twice, slowly and phonetically, please. Come ahead. Mike, Net Mike. Control, this is Kilo Oscar 4, Oscar Whiskey Echo, KO4OWE, Scott from Memphis, Tennessee. Mike, Mike 3, X-Ray Golf Papa, MM3XGP, Gordon, in Glen Rothis and Fife. All right, we picked up a couple of stations there. Um, we'll start at the top of the list uh, with uh, Mr. Scott, uh, KO4OWE. Hey, good evening, Scott. Uh, what uh, what uh, snack would you bring to movie night, and uh, what movie would you throw into the basket uh, as well? 
Uh, over to you from N4 UPC. Hello, Scott and everybody on the fruit salad net this evening. This is Scott, Kilo Oscar, Four Oscar Whiskey Echo from Memphis, land of Elvis and barbecue. So I guess it had to be barbecue since I check in like that, although I'll take pizza, peanuts, potato chips. I uh, actually bought some tofu and ate that the other day, so I know there's some healthy uh, snacks out there too, but I can't get my wife to eat that that tofu stuff. Well, anyway, on the movie, yeah, well, uh, we got to have some adult beverages and some uh, uh, drinks and things like that, iced tea, I guess, since we're in the south here in Memphis. But uh, anyway, <laughs> lots of food, that's for sure there, Scott. Uh, I would, I would. well, Kevin Costner's movie, Field of Dreams, they, they had that uh, game they played this summer up there at the ballpark they built next to the original one, and that was pretty cool. Uh, I like John Wayne's True Grit movie as well. That That's, I don't know, for some reason when he's riding down that field and shooting them all up as he's uh, flinging his rifle everywhere. And I don't know, I like that scene. And he somehow survived that. Uh, the horse didn't, but uh, anyway, he did. So, yeah, thank you for getting my, taking my check-in and... Uh, Good to hear everybody all over the world there, and I'll turn it back to net control, and uh, we'll have to get the snacks going and the movie playing. 73 to all, KO4OWE, back to net. All right, Scott. Sounds like some good choices there, both in the food and in the movies. Uh, yeah, that, that was a very uh, good scene. Uh, in True Grit, uh, I do wonder how many times they had to go through that to, uh, you know, to get it right. Because um, definitely back then, uh, video editing uh, is not like it is today. That's for sure. It's a lot more complicated and a lot more labor intensive. Um, uh, but you've got me curious now. I, I know you have a four-legged friend. Uh, there, uh, that uh, bears the name of a, uh, a Scottish gentleman, uh, played, I believe, by Mel Gibson uh, in uh, the movie Braveheart. Uh, I'm just curious, uh, what snacks would he bring, or I guess, what snacks would he want you to bring uh, while all of you all are watching uh, uh, True Grit or, or whatever movie? Uh, I guess he'd want to see all the Lassie uh, uh, series, TV shows. Uh, but uh, what what would be uh, that little guy's treat? Uh, back over to you, Scott, from N4, UPC. Well, hey, Scott and everybody on the net. Yeah, Sir William Wallace of uh, Internet fame there with Queen Ellen and Graham's net on Friday nights. and. We actually got him from an ad in the paper, and he had that name already registered and everything, so it just stuck, and uh, sometimes we call him Wally, but Sir William, of course. I don't know why I didn't think of Braveheart. That would have been the best movie to throw out there. What was I thinking? Uh, well, you know, Sir William, he's royalty, so I'm sure he'd like to have some steaks and a ribeye or like, like there in uh, Mobier. That does sound good, by the way, to head that way sometime. But anyway, he, he just has some crunchy well bars that I'm looking at right now, these wellness treats that uh, have uh, yogurt and apples and uh, uh, bananas in them, and he gets probably more of those than he should have, and then we try to keep him with his dog food. But, hey, he'll eat about anything. You're right. So, something from Scotland for sure, maybe some haggis. All right. Uh, Sir William says hi, by the way, to everybody on on the net. Um, back to you, Scott. Thank you again for calling the net. We love listening. Uh, 73 to all, KO4OWE. Well, I'm glad that uh, Sir William Wallace likes those wellness uh, bars. Um, unfortunately, uh, I've got a dog uh, who is uh, from Scotland. And uh, if I try to give him any of that health food stuff, he kind of sniffs it, looks at it, then looks up at me, 
and tilts his head and gives me this recriminating look like, you wouldn't eat that. Why would you want me to? So, bit of a picky eater. At any rate, uh, Scott, we thank you for stopping by and checking into the Fruit Salad Net. Uh, we're here every other Saturday, uh, just like clockwork. And, yeah, we do, we do like to have a lot of fun uh, on this net. All right, let me take a quick break. All right, next up on our list is MM3XGP. Hey, good evening, sir. Welcome to the net uh, from N4 UPC. A very good evening, Scott, and everyone else on the net. Uh, from MM3XGP. What snacks would I bring? It's a hard one. Uh, if it was in the house, then uh, it would be an old miner's uh, snack, which is cheese and jam on the same sandwich. Uh, and probably some of your listeners are probably going, what's that? Just ordinary cheese, ordinary jam on a sandwich. Uh, if it was going out, or maybe, maybe Ritz, Ritz biscuits, I don't know what they're called in the States. Would uh, they be called Ritz? I don't know. Uh, I'll take a pause. And movies. Well, seeing how I'm Scottish, and probably have already had uh, Braveheart and all the other movies. Two other classic Scottish movies. Uh, one of them probably not heard of is Restless Natives, uh, around about the 1980s, uh, about two young lads from Edinburgh that uh, decide to go out and rob uh, tourist coaches in Scotland. And my other choice would be Local Hero, uh, just purely for the, the soundtrack uh, and the scenery. And uh, I don't know if Graham's listening, but obviously I had the Aurora, Aurora Borealis in it as well. So, uh, classic films from MM3XGP. All right, Gordon. Well, thank you very much, sir. Um Sounds like some very interesting uh, regional movies. I'll, I made a note of those. I'll have to uh, look those up. Um, and I, uh, I know we talked a little bit about Braveheart. I don't know that anybody has mentioned it yet, or if they did, my apologies for missing that. Uh, so we can write that one down for you as well. Um, now, as far as uh, uh, cheese and uh, jam on a sandwich... Uh, I don't know that I've ever uh, heard of that combination before, uh, and I'm curious uh, where that uh, came from. Um, is that something from your childhood, or did someone just spring it on you one time and you tried it and thought, hey, this is pretty good? Um, how did that come about? Uh, and while I'm thinking about it, um, as far as the Ritz are concerned, over here we call them uh, just crackers, Ritz crackers. Um, back over to you, Gordon, from N4, UPC. Yeah, Mike, Mike, 3, X, Ray, go Papa Uh The sandwich originates with miners, uh, coal miners, uh, as far as I'm led to believe. Uh, maybe, maybe Gareth's already Googled it as we speak. Uh, but, yeah, uh, coal miners, uh, certainly in Scotland. I don't know if the rest of the UK, but, uh, yeah, it was uh, yeah. a bit like, a bit like, I don't know if you've ever heard of the, the Cornish pasty. Uh, an, a, a, an original Cornish pasty. Uh, I'll take a pause. Yeah, an original Cornish pasty uh, had 
your savoury on one side and your sort of sweet pudding uh, on the opposite end. And this was uh, obviously due to the Cornish tin miners because uh, their hands and everything were, were dirty and, and such like. Uh, so they, they had they had that. But I don't think you, you get an original Cornish pasty as such with savoury and sweet uh, on it. So it may have stemmed from that uh, there, Scott, uh, where the, the Scottish miners, <laughs> instead of making a pasty, they took a sort of savoury and a sweet. Uh, but give it a try. It's really nice, honestly. Uh, we call it, sometimes we call it a poor man's piece. Uh, a piece up in Scotland means a sandwich. From MM3 XGP. All right. Well, as I've said uh, earlier in the net and other times, uh, there's not a day goes by that I don't learn something new, and and I did uh, definitely learn something uh, new there. Uh, I will have to give that a try. Uh, if Gordon says it's good, that's good enough for me. Um, never had a pasty before. I know what they are. I've seen them, but. Uh, uh, never had one, but then again, I'm sure there are a lot of foods that uh, if I came over there to Scotland or you came over here, Gordon, um, there's probably a ton of things that each of us, uh, you know, didn't know about, never tried. Uh, does sound like fun, though. Uh, always wanted to get over to uh, Scotland, uh, Ireland, England. <clears throat> Just fascinated by the old architecture, the castles, uh, etc., uh, yeah, maybe one day. I'm not that old yet. All right, let's break with Mr. Gordon, and uh, we are at the bottom of the list, so we are looking for some more check-ins uh, to today's uh, or this evening's fruit salad net. Uh, if you'd like to check in with us and let us know what you would, uh, what treat you would bring uh, to movie night, as well as what movie you might like to watch, uh, come ahead and check in with us now. Uh, remember, please, to give your call signs twice, phonetically, and slowly. Come ahead, please. Victor Echo 3, Uniform Juliet Kilo. Victor Echo 3, Uniform Juliet Kilo. John. All right, we picked up uh, Mr. John there, uh, BE3GK. Um, well, sir, uh, what uh, treat would you bring for movie night, and what movie would you like to see? Uh, come ahead, sir, from N4 UPC. N4 UPC. Uh, I'll just correct the call. I think you might have it mistaken. It's Victor Echo 3 Uniform Japan Kilo, VE3 UJK. And Scott, um, I like old, old movies. I'm a real bogey fan, and I have to admit, um, it's before my time, really, but I love The African Queen. We've watched that so many times, um, I couldn't uh, keep count. And I would definitely bring Cheetos. That's what I would bring to the uh, to the movie. Ve three UJK back to net. All right, John. No, uh, we got your call sign right. Uh, it just came out of my mouth wrong. Uh, I just transposed uh, your suffix there a little bit. Um, nothing wrong with those uh, older movies. That's for sure. That's for, you know. That's why they're called classics because they are. Um, they, you know, back then they made some some amazing uh, movies, uh, and yes, African Queen uh, would definitely uh, qualify in that category. Uh, for those of our friends over in the UK, um, if you don't know what Cheetos are, um, they are a, a cheese puff. Um, 
Uh, let, me, let me put it to you that way. Uh, you can look it up on the Internet. Uh, uh, Cheetos is just a brand name, uh, but it's a, uh, <clears throat> uh, a, a kind of a fried cheese puff. Uh, very good. Uh, sometimes very messy because the cheese coating does rub off sometimes, uh, but uh, good nonetheless. All right, uh, John, well, let me turn it back to you uh, for anything else in the final. And, and also, I'm curious, are there any modern-day movies, uh, say, last 20 years, uh, that you would recommend? Uh, or are you uh, just an old movie buff? Uh, back over to you, John, from N4, UPC. BE3 UJK returning. Um, just wanted to add the uh, the cheese puffs. They're not the usual soft ones that you you get. These Cheetos, as you you know, Scott, they're extremely crunchy, and you get a lot of orange fingers when you're eating those. They have uh, quite a bit of coloring on them, I guess, as well as uh, I love the crunch. That's that's what my favorite is. Oh, gee, I don't know. Somebody mentioned some John Wayne. I always like John Wayne movies. Sometimes they look back now, they they seemed a little corny at times, but uh, as a kid, I remember watching them in the cinema, and uh, they were great. As far as new movies go, you know, I, uh, I, I have a hard time remembering. Some of them just don't. They seem interesting, but uh, I'm at a point in my life now where I really don't remember all the actors' names and uh, and who who they are. I know I can see their faces in my mind's eye, but um, my my memory just doesn't seem to want to bring uh, bring them back. And uh, I can't really recommend any of the latest movies. It just seems like you say they they made classics back in the 40s and 50s. Uh, let me just drop it here. They made classics back in the 40s and 50s, and uh, it was a different system, different star system altogether. Not everything got shot and blown up. It was more character development and plot development, and that's what I liked. I'll turn it back to you, Scott, and for UPC, the E3, UJK. Thanks for running the net. Great net. All right, John. Well, thank you very much, sir. We appreciate you being here. Um, and, uh, yeah, these days, um, movies are definitely not the same. Uh, like you said, the, the character development, the plot development, um, it seems like a lot of movies these days, um, they, they, they rely on more on special effects and, and whatnot. Uh, not all of them, but it just seems like the majority uh, do. So I understand where you're coming from there. Again, John, uh, thanks for joining us. Uh, pleasure to have you, sir. All right. Uh, well, that would be the end of my turn for check-ins. So I'm going to pass it over to Graham and Helen uh, and let them continue on. Uh, GM0 UB from N4 UPC. Over to you, sir. Got your audio going. Okay, I think somebody else they just teed up there. Didn't quite catch uh, any call sign or whatever, but never mind. Uh, we're going to go for some more check-ins shortly, folks. So uh, this is GM0 UB in company with... Mike Mike 7, Hotel Quebec, Sierra, Helen, Queen of Scotland. And I'll put the jar of Nutella down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Helen's got the munchies. She's been munching away there. She's had some Nutella and uh, what else were you having there? Some quavers, goodness me. There we go, folks, and uh, there's not even a movie on the screen. So um, <laughs> we're, we're testing out stuff over here. Uh, absolutely wonderful um, uh, uh, contributions we've had so far this evening. We've no doubt looked forward to some more, but uh, we do, we do recognise that Scott was in there with Sir William Wallace. Yeah, but everybody, you really, really got to try the piece on jam and cheese. Definitely. Cheese and jam. Absolutely. Away. 
Oh, you never lived till you've tried it. Oh, it must be you fifers. That's what, that's what Gordon said. I know. Look okay, at That's royalty, like, the city. All right, okay, well, okay, cheese and jam. Oh, folks, I don't know. I'm working as savoury, as I said before, um, but uh, put some jam on. No, I think just cheese and uh, mustard. That's that's the way it is, folks. That's the way it should be. But uh, anyway, let me just take a quick tip. Very good, GM0, UUB and company with... Mike, Mike, live in the hotel cubicle. <laughs> <laughs> she, she keeps moving away, folks. She's meant to be here at the business end of things, but oh well, there you go. But you know, absolutely wonderful, wonderful uh, check-in so far. And uh, I do have to uh, give a wee shout out to Mike out there, um, our friend KL7 Fox Romeo. That is, of course, KL7 um, Frisky Reindeer. And <laughs> Mike, I loved your comment. If at first you don't succeed, then try and try a green. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely love that. So, uh, listen, guys, you, you've been absolutely fantastic. But um, anyway, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm already on the uh, online buying the uh, tickets to get ourselves across there to David, um, who's serving up pizza and ribeye steak and everything else, absolutely free of charge. So we're we're working our way there. So uh, we're doing okay, folks. Well, well, I'm okay to go over, but you're not, because you've not got your passport. <laughs> oh, that's, that's, that's right. <laughs> I've always had my bag. <laughs> I think my passport's out of date. Oh, too late, sonny. I'll have yours. <laughs> okay, right, okay. Right, well, there you go, folks. Um, that's kind of uh, burst my bubble. Um, so, uh, anyway, I'll just take one more pip, and then we're going to go for some more check-ins. You mean you're going to stop for a second and wipe the tears from your eyes? <laughs> Okay, GM zero U U B in company with herself. <laughs> Sorry. You mean Mike Mike Seven Hotel Quebec Sierra, <laughs> Helen Queen of Scotland. Oh yeah, there you go. Okay, and it's Graham here, folks, and we are you're still part of this. This is a fruit salad night. Hey, this Saturday the 13th, so oh, the 13th, that's a bit unlucky, of November 2021. We're looking for some more check-ins. It's Saturday movie night, folks, and we want to know what your movie selection is. And also, uh, for snacks, popcorn has been banned. So what alternatives to popcorn do you have? Um, so uh, we're looking for all that stuff, folks, and uh, please do check in and let us know. Um, Check-ins for the, 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 the Saturday um, the fruit salad night, please call with your call sign slowly, phonetically, and twice. Go ahead. November 6th, Romeo Delta Foxtrot. Okay, Net Control recognises just one other colour there. That's our friend uh, Mike out there in El Paso, Texas. November 6th, Romeo Delta Foxtrot. I'm sure there's other listeners out there wanting to join in as well. You know, uh, I was offered a gig at uh, the uh, uh, the Confused and Bemused Amateur Radio Society, but I, I went over here instead. So surely there's more check-ins. Surely, surely, surely. So uh, we've got Mike in there. Mike, thank you. We'll be with you shortly. Um, additional check-ins, please. Give me a call sign slowly, phonetically, and twice. Go ahead. Okay, nothing else heard. Well, Mike, you know, maybe I'll just have to take up that gig at the, the, uh, the bemused and confused the amateur radio group there. <laughs> I don't know. Now, we've had wonderful check-ins so far. I'm just, I'm just kidding. Mike, welcome, my friend. And uh, what's happening in El Paso, Texas these days? And uh, what's your movie choice? And uh, no popcorn allowed, so um, any kind of alternative suggestions for the old snack menu? Hey, Mike, welcome once again. Hey, N6RDF, the microphone is all yours. Let's see if I got it here. Well, by golly, I do. That's, uh, I think I'm making it. Um, yeah, I'm on, I'm on Linux system right now, so it's a little bit different than uh, running a Windows 10. But uh, anyway, hey, good day to you, Graham and uh, Ellen and Queen of Scotland. I hear you in there as well. Glad to be here with you as always. 
Uh, whoops, something's wrong with my system. November 6, Romeo Delta Foxtrot. Mike, you've uh, just kind of disappeared and fallen off the edge of the <laughs> edge of the world there. And away, admit, maybe he is, away for snacks. I don't know. Um, Mike, where have you gone, sir? Hey, please come back and uh, tell us your movie of choice and uh, your alternative suggestions for snacks. Mike, over to you, sir. Hey, Graham. Uh, Scott here in for UPC. I just got a message from Mike. Um, he got uh, cut off, I guess, an internet thing. Uh, but he promises to return. Uh, he he might be back by the time I get done with this transmission. I was trying to give him a little bit of time. Uh, but wanted to let you know what was going on, uh, Graham, uh, from in for UPC. Yeah, I mentioned Robin Williams and all the rest earlier. So, uh, yeah, there we go. That was Helen saying, have you told people what your phone was and all the rest? But there we go. And, uh, well, thank you so much and for UPC Scott there. Ray, uh, thank you. And, uh, yeah, so, um, uh, so Mike's having a little bit of a problem there. The gremlins are kind of uh, climbing upon his system and pulling him down and uh, giving him a wee shake about. So uh, hopefully you'll be back by now. Um, Mike, are you with us, my friend? N6RDF, if you're there, the microphone is all yours. Oh, my. Never a dull moment with technology, that's for sure. I think that's one of the reasons that Scott and I uh, dreamt the, uh, the absolute tech net. There's just uh, <laughs> never a dull moment. Well, great to be here with everybody. Thanks for your patience. Um, you know, that's one thing that uh, we get to practice, uh, especially if we're uh, a net controller, is uh, patience, because patience attains the goal. I borrowed those words from St. Teresa of Avila, by the way. I'm wondering where the Queen of Scotland got the, because, uh, you know, I, I like to use that expression, hey, hey, let's get this party started, you know. And uh, I know, Helen, you use that as well. I'm curious where you got that, but... Uh, as far as movies go, uh, the wife and I saw a, uh, a great film the other day. It was the new, uh, the new James Bond film. I guess it's, it could be the last one. We don't know if you really got blown up or not, but uh, I don't want to ruin it for anybody. But uh, uh, I forgot what, it, what the movie's called, something about wake up, it's time to die or something like that. Uh, but uh, anyway, we had great fun, and um, we always enjoy it. Uh, we decided to go out to uh, to dinner afterwards, so uh, but we did get a little bit of popcorn. But uh, anyway, let's get this party started. Oh yeah, uh, back to net control from N6RDF. Beautiful day here, by the way, 71 degrees Fahrenheit. N6RDF. Um, well, there you go. You've kind of uh, blown that. <laughs> <laughs> that thing, it was a James Bond thing. I, I even resisted checking up online. I've uh, listened to all these different reviews of the recent James Bond film, and apparently people are coming out of the cinema in tears. They're crying and all the rest, and oh man, so emotional and whatever. And uh, I'm thinking to myself, I wonder what the end is. And uh, you've just kind of uh, blown its cover. That's it. Uh, you've kind of that's a big spoiler. So uh, James Bond gets blown up. <laughs> well, well, thanks for that, uh, uh, Mike. I was really trying to avoid that because I'm looking forward to trying to see the film myself. And uh, but you've kind of given the show away. So um, there we go. So uh, poor James Bond, a double O seven is a double O bang. Um, so <laughs> that's a bit of a shame. But anyway, let's get this party started, Helen. Where did you uh, start doing all that? Let's get get this party started. And stuff. Oh, gosh, it'd be about six years ago when I started fundraising with the rescue, and every time we have a big event that I organize or we do a big challenge, I always start the events with that saying. So Did you remember six years ago? Because your memory's not the same. Ow! I'll just... <laughs> That's I'll number two. <laughs> That's number two. Yes. Got in the back of the heat. And it'll be third time lucky. Well, yeah, you go. Up there, young. But yes, yes, that's where I, I got it from. And uh, 
It always seems to get things going and starts things off with a bit of fun. Oh, well, there we go. Well, it's not, not been too much fun for me, I have to say, Mike, but uh, if you don't mind, uh, we'll just pass it back to you. N6 RDF, I'm going to have to go and find an ice pack. Um, over to you, sir. I have to find the PTT switch. Well, thank you for that. It's uh, uh, um, it's great to know where people get these expressions because I, I think there's a lot of folks out there that uh, use that expression. Um, I know that uh, the singer Pink, uh, I think she's got a uh, let's get this party started. Uh, if you go on uh, YouTube, you can check that out. Get the party started. But anyway, yeah, I, I, I don't know where I heard it originally. Let's get this party started. And uh, I'm really sorry I ruined it for everybody with um, that movie, uh, James Bond movie, which uh, I still try to remember that. Oh, No Time to Die. That's what it is, No Time to But you know what? I, I don't know. We don't know. You know how it is? I mean, like, uh, we don't know what happens. People make miraculous comebacks. Who knows? You know, there may be another uh, uh, episode or installment in the franchise. You never know. But... Uh, the new movie, uh, actually, uh, the wife and I want to go see the new Ghostbusters movie. That looks like a lot of fun. And then we saw a, a, another movie that uh, is going to be coming out that looks absolutely darling. Um, and I've forgotten the uh, the title of that one, too. But uh, let's see, maybe it's playing, uh, you know, sometimes you can look ahead and uh, try to find uh, what the movie is in the theaters. Uh, ahead of time, but uh, I don't know, this uh, application I'm using right here is a real, uh, it's a real killjoy, so, but anyway, I think it has the word pizza in it, but it, it just looks, uh, it's a love affair between two teams that are just so awkward, you know, and Gra Graham, speaking of awkward, uh, uh, pause for reset, not, not you, Graham, but speaking of awkward, you know, I, w I was a seventh grade homeroom teacher for many years, and you know, in the middle school. I think I spent more years teaching middle school, uh, you know, junior high school, uh, than I did any other uh, grade. I taught in the lower grades, and I also taught in high school, but and I lectured at the co college level, but I think I spent more time with uh, kids. I think I've told you this before. If you look at a sixth grader, and then you wait a couple of years, and then you look at them again when they're in eighth grade, there's quite a, a change, you know? And uh, that change manifests itself in seventh grade. So it's a, it's a great storm to be in the eye of so that you can see all the kids swirling around you. Da, 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 da. You know, I'm thinking about, you know, the house going up in a tornado with uh, the Wizard of Oz there. But uh, that's kind of what it's like. So it's a, it's a wonderful energy. The kids are a lot of fun. And, uh, oh, my, the stories I could tell. But anyway, too little time and... Uh, that's just the way it goes. But anyway, let me let me hand it back to you. And another expression I like to use is "let the good times roll." So I'll pass it back to Net Control. You two always do a great job. More power to you, and we'll catch you a little on, a little later on down the log. This is N6RDF. My name is Mike, and I'm here in El Paso, Texas, where it's just a gorgeous day. Back to you. Well, thank you, the man called Mike from El Paso, Texas, in 6 rdf um, Honestly, it's, I'll say, it's always good to hear you, my friend. It really is, and uh, thank you for sharing. And, um, yeah, you know, we, we need to have a wee talk sometime as well, because uh, all these kind of young people that we look after, as you know, I've been the school principal for many, many years and all the rest and blah, blah, blah. Um, I, think, uh, I think retirement might be round the corner for me, but uh, there's lots of different... Uh, uh, things happening there, um, so <laughs> there's Helen laughing, but uh, yeah, there's there's things going on here and stuff and all the rest, but um, but yeah, no, I, I, I wouldn't, no, I'm not old enough to get a bus pass. Pensioners discounts, I don't know. Well, but if, if they give smaller portions, that's not any good. <laughs> A kind of a pensioner's portion of fish and chips. Goodness me, I want a big portion of fish and chips. Uh, but uh, anyway, um, Mike, it's always a pleasure, my friend, and uh, we can have a wee, uh, a wee buzz.
was uh, some other time and we chat um, about different things. But uh, yeah, you're absolutely right. You know, working with young people, um, it's uh, there's just something about it. It just kind of lights up your life at times, and uh, it just gives you a wee bit of uh, a wee bit of a boost. That's for sure. But um, good stuff, Mike. Thank you so much. Um, absolute tech night. I don't know if you want to share anything um, over here with uh, any. Um, I, I adverts or anything else you want to say, um, you're very free to do so, sir. So I'll pass the microphone back to you one more time for any further comments. And uh, please feel free to uh, advertise the absolute tech night uh, before we go for any more check-ins. So um, N6 RDS, straight back to you, sir. Well, thank you, Sir Graham. Uh, appreciate the opportunity to plug the net. Uh, first off, yes, I would uh, very much like to uh, speak to you at some point about uh, our mutual uh, location. And um, that movie, I put a link to it uh, in the uh, AIM window here. It's uh, The movie's title is Licorice Pizza. And we saw the preview of it, and we just we said, we got to see this one. And uh, the kids drive around a uh, Pontiac, a 1968 Pontiac GTO. I used to have one of those when I was young. Yeah, grr, and uh, just way too much fun in that car. But, uh, yeah, the Absolute Tech Net. Come and join us this Tuesday evening, next week, Tuesday evening, 7 p.m. Eastern time. And uh, I'll be hosting the net, and our topic will be software amateur radio. That is a massive topic, and uh, I just have way too much uh, to share with folks. But uh, we'd really like to hear as many of you as possible check in. You always make it a great and fun and informative net. I'm always taking notes. I mean, I've I've learned so much just participating in these nets. It's a, it's a really good deal. So check us out. Our website is absolutetech.org. That website, again, absolutetech.org. And again, Tuesday evening, 7 p.m. Eastern. Come and join us if you can. I know, Graham, that you listen in sometimes. I know it's really late uh, when we uh, fire it up and get the party started, but uh, you know what? Uh, even if folks are listening, and you can always listen to our podcasts as well, which are available on our website, but uh, it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. So thanks again for having me, and uh, all the best to you too, and uh, 73 to all from November 6, Romeo Delta Foxtrot. November 6, Romeo Delta Foxtrot. Well, Mike, thank you so much for all your contribution and everything you've uh, passed on. Absolutely wonderful. And, uh, yep, go and check it out, absolutetech.org. And uh, Tuesday, um, uh, I think you said, uh, uh, seven, is it 7 p.m.? Did you say 7? 7 p.m. Eastern? Anyway, I think it's midnight here in the U.K. when it starts, and, <laughs> and I do enjoy listening to it. I learn a lot, and they don't have too much to contribute, I have to say. I'm not kind of a, a wee wee up there with the tech stuff, but uh, you guys you guys have a wonderful, wonderful information to share. So, um, people, go and check it out, absolutetech.org, and uh, go and join the, uh, the night on, the, on a Tuesday. Absolutely wonderful. Thank you so much, Mike. And uh, well, with that, it does bring us back down to the bottom of the list. Where's the bottom of the list, Helen? Woohoo! Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, for goodness sake. This is Golf Mike's Zero Uniform, Uniform Bravo. And believe it or not, I'm still in the company with. Mike, Mike, seven, Hotel Stakes here, and Helen, Queen of Scotland, with GM Zero UUB. Well, there you go, folks, and that's always a good sign. <laughs> We're looking for some more check-ins. Folks, if you want to check into this night, this is the Fruit Salad Night. Uh, this Saturday, the uh, the 13th of November, 2021, we're looking for some more check-ins. If you want to check in, it's Saturday night at the movies. Tell us what your movie is and what your snacks are. Go ahead. Go and call Net Controls now. Truck of seven, Lima, Juliet, Mike. W6, PKK, MW6, Papa, Quebec, Quebec. Carl, Hanukkah, Mayor. Victor, Alpha, seven, Sierra, Lima, VA7, and so
Ah, very good. Well, thank you for the long key up with no uh, no comments there. That's absolutely wonderful. Um, okay, Net Control recognises our friend Scott out there in the British Columbia, I believe. That's Victor Alpha 7 Sierra Lima. Uh, hello, Scott. And we've got MW6 Papa Quebec, Quebec. That's a uh, Carl out there in Clannachimé. Is that right? Clannachimé. Clannachimé. <laughs> Carl, you know, sometime we will get this right. And there was somebody else at the beginning, but uh, you were stepped on by Carl, so uh, I think your call sign ended with a Lima. So um, the, the the person that uh, was trying to uh, check in, call sign ending in Lima, um, please call sign slowly, phonetically, and twice. Give me a call. Victor Echo 7, Lima, Juliet Mike, once again... Victor, Echo 7, Lima, Juliet, Mike, over. This is a flyby check in to Echo Zero, Romeo X ray, India. Okay, very good. Well, I've uh, caught up another couple of stations there. We've got Sean out there in the Sudbury in Suffolk. Um, to Echo Zero, Romeo, X-Ray, India. We've got you there, Sean. Uh, please stand by. We've got, uh, obviously, Victor Alpha 7, Sierra Lima. I've said that before. And uh, MW6, Papa, Quebec, Quebec. That is uh, Carl. And uh, out there in... Go and see it. Clannachly Clannachly me. We'll, we'll get there, Carl. Anyway, um, but uh, we've got Cliff there. He's a brand new chicken all the way from British Columbia, I believe. And that's Victor Echo 7, Lima, Juliet, Mike. I hope I got the call right. Victor Echo 7, Lima, Juliet, Mike. Welcome to the night, sir. Uh, thank you, Cliff, for uh, joining us. And uh, we are having a Saturday night at the movies. So we're uh, looking at um, what movie would you like to watch and... Um, uh, and anyway, popcorn is not available, so what alternative snacks do you have on the table? Um, Cliff, I hope it's you. Uh, maybe I got the call sign wrong, but uh, I hope it's you, and uh, thank you for checking in. A brand new check-in tonight. You're very, very welcome, sir. The microphone is, of course, all yours. To that, thank you very much uh, for the check-in. Uh, first time that I've uh, checked into to your, to your net. And uh, so, for right now, I'll just uh, I'll just be on the side listening, but uh, I shall return uh, back to net. Well, thank you very much, sir, and uh, well, you're very very welcome to check into this night, and uh, the, the fruit salad night here um, happens every fortnight, every two weeks. Oh goodness me, I've got hiccups. <laughs> every two weeks. <laughs> so, but I haven't haven't sneaked anything in. So, um, anyway, Cliff, um, do, do you uh, do, do you have any suggestions for uh, a movie or uh, or snacks when you're watching a movie? Um, so, uh, Cliff, just just before you just before you let you uh, run away and scuttle across to the hills there, um, do you have any further comments about a movie or snacks, say, uh, Cliff? Um, if you don't mind, sir, and uh, you're very, very welcome to this night, that's for sure. A hey, microphone, back to you, sir. Roger that. Uh, yeah, no uh, no comments at this point. I'm uh, just, uh, um, just on the side listening and uh, just actually doing some, uh, some ra uh, radio work here. So um, just thought I'd check and see if I could make it to your net, and, uh, and I have. So that's great. And uh, so I'll, I'll uh, check with you folks at a later time. But uh, thanks very much for the invite. Uh, 73 is back to Matt. Well, thank you so much, Cliff. It's uh, all, uh, honestly been a pleasure to meet you. And, uh, yeah, we're here every fortnight. And uh, go and check out the websites because we've got nets on all the time. Go and check out the www.irn.radio and also www.freestar.network and uh, I do drop in what's what's it well, well <laughs> is it um, www.dodropin.org I think it might be but anyway uh, Scott will update you in that in, in a wee while but uh, good
good stuff. Anyway, our night is a dewdrop in dot night. Goodness me. Well, even <laughs> Hey, we'll, we'll get that day sorted. But anyway, we're going to go across now to uh, Wales. We're going to go to uh, Clanachley May. Clan Clanachley May. <laughs> and there we find Carl. Hey, Carl, what's happening in Carl's world? And uh, hey, Carl, what do you think about uh, a movie? What movie would you like to see? And uh, of course, we have to have some snacks. And popcorn is off the menu, so we're looking for some alternative suggestions. Um, so we're going to go and see what's happening with MW6 Papa Quebec. Quebec. Carl, welcome, my friend. Thank you so much for taking the time to be here. The microphone is, of course, all yours. MW6PQQ, evening, uh, uh, Graham, evening, Helen. Uh, yeah, you will get it right one of these days. I can't get it right myself, uh, Graham Clinic commit. But uh, there you go. <laughs> uh, you want, if you think that one's hard, you want to try doing the Slam uh, PG one, which is the uh, Go 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 one. I can't even do that. Dude, that's no way. Uh, yeah. Uh, the, uh, right, we got Saturday night at the movies. Okay. Um, well, movie-wise, I haven't really seen any, <laughs> as you probably know by now, uh, not recently anyway. Um, uh, I suppose one of my all-time favourites really is, um, which is what my wife bought me a copy of, which was, I think it was the 40th or 50th anniversary, was uh, Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Uh, always liked that film, and I've always been into UFOs as well, so uh, um, I'm a bit of a UFO theorist myself, but... Uh, um, <laughs> Well, I wouldn't say theorists, but I do believe they're out there somewhere. Uh, yeah, um, quick little update. I haven't had nothing done with my eyes at the moment. I'm still waiting for... Uh, I've had the pre-op, which was last Friday. Uh, and um, I thought I might have got... No, no, it wasn't last Friday. Yeah, it was last Friday. I thought I might have got a letter this week to say that I was going in sometime next week, but uh, I've had nothing so far. So hopefully, fingers crossed, everybody, that... I get a letter for next week <laughs> to say I'm going in the week after. So uh, I could I could be on the net and actually be able to see the frequency. It would be nice, wouldn't it? Um, yeah. Um, but yeah, close encounters of the third kind. And uh, unfortunately, because I'm diabetic, um, I, I try and if I have chocolate, which I have got some, is uh, is, is 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 lint chocolate, which is the uh, really really bitter stuff. Uh, I think. You know, 80% I've got, it's really bitter, if you don't like bitter chocolate then stay away from it, but it's got less sugar in, so uh, uh, that's the one I sort of have, you know, a couple of cubes of now and again, so uh, that's about it really, uh, and a glass of milk, <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, I mean I could have gone with something else, but I won't because it would upset Helen, so uh, <laughs> I'll bet Helen's uh, favourite film anyway, because I haven't been listening that long to be honest, is the, it's probably uh, Harry Potter I would imagine. Seems a Harry Potter type. <laughs> right, pass it back to uh, Net Control. Back to you, Graham uh, and Helen. I know you're in the background there. Dying to slap him around the head again. Oh, absolutely, Carl. You know, he's had two slaps already, and it could be third time lucky if he keeps his it? cheek up. Work. You know, he just gets cheekier every week. I, I, I think, actually, he enjoys a scud to the back of the head, to be honest. Um, you know, he'd probably miss it if I didn't do it. But um, that, that's a shame. It's the only it. attention I get, Carol. It's the only attention I get. Better than nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Don't feel sorry for him. <laughs> you know, he's at that age where he forgets a lot. And, he, you know, he's obviously forgot that I petted him on the back this morning. Told him he was good. Good boy. You know, that nice coffee. Thank you. But anyway, Carl, yeah, that's a shame about your appointment there, um, you know, but they're all, all the hospitals are the same at the moment, you know, they're extremely busy and everything else. Um, I was back at my specialist on Thursday, so I've got another three weeks of fresh dressings every day, and hopefully by then the wounds from surgery will have healed. So um, I don't have to see them for another three weeks at the moment. And I actually got to drive my car yesterday, so things are kind of getting normal. But I've still another op to come, and I think they're going to do it after the new year, so that's even better. 
the name. Hopefully, Kyle, fingers crossed, you'll have yours soon. And, uh, yeah, and it's so wonderful to hear you. So, um, I'll just quickly put it back to you. What do you think, Kyle? Do you think Mr. Graham enjoys the scud to the back of the head? No. He's a six PQ returning. I think he does, but uh, you said he keeps forgetting things. Um, do you not think that hitting him around the back of the head with a skid is a bit um, much? You might be forgetting because you keep doing that. <laughs> Maybe you ought to hit him with something softer. <laughs> but there you go. Yeah, well, there you go. Uh, now, like I said, uh, Helen, I have my pre-op, so uh, uh, they've got to do it within, the, within four weeks. So uh, they've had a week, so they've got three weeks left now. So hopefully, fingers crossed, I'll get a letter next week. Uh, the eye hospital is just ju is just a, an eye hospital. It's nothing else. They don't deal with anything else. So um, they've, they've got a pretty pretty busy uh, regime up there. And uh, Doctor Ung, uh, that's Ung. I did say Ung. Uh, is uh, he's one of the main surgeons there, and he he runs like around like a blue. I won't say that word on here. Uh, yeah, you know what I mean. Um, Headless chicken will be easier, yeah, and uh, doing umpteen jobs all in one go, so he's pretty good. Uh, he's got my eyesight back three times now, so yeah, fair play to him. Uh, but yeah, so uh, yeah, like I say, the favourite film um, at, at the moment is Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Oh, well, I will add on E.T. E.T. was one of my favourites as well, so uh, I've got two really, and um, I've got both of those films. Uh, but uh, yeah, Lint, Cho Lint Chocolate. 80, 80%. Um, it's uh, quite strong. So, uh, yeah, back to you, Helen, and uh, thanks for having me on. I thought I'd pop on because I missed out on, on Friday. I, I, I wasn't... Uh, uh, I'll let you into a little secret, Marjorie. It ain't a secret if I tell everybody, is it? Uh, doctor put me on some um, pick-me-up pills. We'll, we'll say that. You know what I'm on about. Um, so uh, I'm not so down in the dumps. Uh, back to you, Helen. Well, that looks like the two of us are on pick-me-up pills there, Kyle, because I'm not so down in the dump side. <laughs> and, uh, yes. I could do with some pick-me-up pills. Oh, could you need some? After all these scuds in the back of the heat, I'm just kind of, I don't ah, know. Nonsense. I just do that to knock some sense into you. So I'm very thoughtful there, Graham. All oh, right. Oh, well, thank you so much, dear. <laughs> Thank you so much, honey. That's for sure. Um, well, Carol, honestly, thank you so much, my friend, for uh, for checking in and uh, for sharing and everything else. And you look after yourself and uh, all the best with all the the the, uh, the different things you haven't been on there. And um, you know, good progress, everything else. Yeah. And uh, well, Helen, Queen of Scotland, is saying you have to check in on Friday and let us know how you're getting on, how your progress is doing. But. Uh, um, <laughs> but Carol, thank you so much um, for for being here all the way from Clannochy Med. Clannochy Med. <laughs> you know, we I, I don't know, and we're certainly not going to be trying to practice that go go golf thing. <laughs> Online Welsh clashes, hey, classes, that was, uh, clashes, well, we could be clashes as well, I don't know. Anyway, Kyle, thank you so much, my friend, and uh, you take care, my friend, and uh, uh, all the best to you. So, uh, okay, we're going to break with uh, our friend out there, that is Mike Whiskey, six, Papa, Quebec, Quebec, and I think that's my um, stunt, uh, stint over. <laughs> I've got to say stunt. <laughs> I don't know. Like I say, I've been offered a gig in the, another place um, with the... Uh, um, well, I have, yeah. The, uh, <laughs> the, 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 the confused amateur radio society. They said, you can come across here. Yes, I could maybe do that. But, um, and bemused, apparently. Confused and bemused. Anyway, folks, I think... I think I'm going to have to go and uh, do something with Helen, Queen of Scotland. <laughs> so, that's, that's my stint finished. And, uh, you know, hopefully there'll be more and more check-ins. And it'll come... It'll <laughs> hopefully it'll come round to me again. Uh, that would be absolutely wonderful. But uh, in the meantime, we do have... We do have 
Oh, forgiveness. Sorry, folks, I was timing out there with the Helen claiming to shave her legs. Right. <laughs> Listen, I'm going to pass it on to the next net control operator. And uh, he does know that we do have uh, our friend Scott and our friend Sean out there, the VA7SL and the 2E0RXI, waiting in the wings. Um, so, uh, so thank you, Carol, once again, seven threes to you, all the way from... Med. <laughs> and we'll pass it on to GM0WUR. That's uh, our friend um, uh, Gareth out there in Sterling. And uh, he's the, uh, the next, next net control operator to uh, take up um, the uh, the mantle here. So, uh, Gareth, um, please take some, uh, yeah, help us out here. Get some order to the proceedings. GM0WUR, over to you, sir. <laughs> oh, GM0WUR. Um, <laughs> how on earth do we follow on from that? <laughs> oh, dear me, the two of you definitely brighten up the airwaves. <laughs> As for some help, I am not sure that we can get straight jackets at this time of night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fantastic stuff. Well done. Uh, right. <laughs> so whilst I still try and <clears throat> regain some composure, um, let's see. Uh, we have uh, Scott out there in Maple Ridge, uh, VA7SL. <laughs> Um, very, very good evening to you. How are you doing? And uh, what are your thoughts as regards favourite movies and snacks for movie night? Uh, VA7SL, over to you from GM0 WUR. GM, GM0 WUR VA7SL. Why do I have to talk about my movies? Nobody else is. Um, I was just marveling that uh, if there's some friskiness about to happen over there with the Queen, um, I, I guess that's probably for the best, given the lifespan and longevity of, of Scottish monarchs. You probably need to build more heirs than the average uh, royal lineage. Well, what about, you know, I, I'm always good for, for a mob movie, but I just flew back from Edmonton, uh, Alberta. I, I, I went for the night with my daughter. We went to see a World Cup qualifying game between Canada and Costa Rica, which Canada won. Very good game. We froze out the little, the little uh, Central American menace uh, with the really cold weather, and it was good. And much fun was had by all, and there was much rejoicing. Um, but uh, I watched. I finished watching the current season, the last season of Narcos. I binged it over the last few days, so I have probably had enough eyeball viewing for the moment. So I am just uh, relaxing and uh, consuming some Pinot Gris from the Okanagan Valley of British Columbia. Listening to you guys carry on and make merry. Uh, so that's it here from the west coast of Canada for now, for me, and uh, as another one of the net controllers. It's all net controllers. Everybody's a net controller. You can too can be a net controller. Victor Alpha 7, Sugar Love. Back to net. Thanks. Victor Alpha 7, Sierra Lima. Thank you very much for that. And, uh, yeah, it's certainly proving to be a uh, fun, entertaining, and um, can we use the word educational evening? <laughs> no, great stuff, and thank you very much for uh, checking in to the net this evening. Yeah, it's always... You know, interesting to see what happens. These nets can be so unpredictable. Fruit salad, multiple flavors, organized chaos, whichever else you want to do it, whichever else way you want to call it. Um, but it is such good fun. So I'm going to take us down to the last name on the list tonight. Um, and that's uh, Sean, 2 Echo, 0, Romeo, X-Ray, India. Good uh, yeah, it is still evening, uh, <laughs> although, although at this rate, it's getting close to, to the magic hour. So 2E0RXI, over to you, Sean. How are you doing? 
good evening to the Zero IXI and Jimmy B. Yeah, hi, good evening and welcome guys. Just uh, heard you fellas chattering away and thought uh, I couldn't resist the temptation to come in and say hello to you and uh, just bear my quick thoughts with you. Uh, so as far as the movie goes, it's got to be gone in 60 seconds. With a, well, one of the best movies of all time. Uh, closely followed by Top Gun, uh, one of the two. And uh, can't be a good Malteser to suck on. Don't know what your thoughts are about that, but uh, there we go. <laughs> That's my decision and choice for the evening. Um, hope, uh, hope they're welcome decisions. <laughs> um, and uh, thank you very much for letting me enter the group and give you my my two penny worth. Uh, I won't hang about, but uh, it's very nice to hear you all, and uh, it's great to hear everybody having a good uh, laugh and a joke. Uh, nice to see the the world with a bright place on it. Uh, back to you, to the control. Uh, Tell it zero Romeo X for NBA. Yeah, 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 yeah. All understood there, Sean. Yeah, Malteser. Uh, good one. It's a shame we say that the popcorn was off the menu tonight because one of the things that I do like uh, was uh, you have, you know, obviously you need to have the largest bucket of popcorn in order to make this work, uh, preferably nice and hot, and uh, then uh, sort of either drop Maltesers or uh, I'm trying to remember what the other one's called, uh, Rebels. Uh, if you come across those, uh, drop those in, shake them around in the popcorn, then you get that really nice, gooey consistency of sweet, salty-ish from the popcorn and uh, the uh, the hit of the chocolate as well. So, yeah, good stuff. And, uh, yeah, I like the choice of movies. I really do like the choice of movies. Top Gun, oh, yes. <laughs> that is definitely at the top of my list. Um, of all-time great movies. Um, definitely a good choice there. So I'll just pass it back to you, Sean, in case you've got anything else that you'd like to add for uh, this evening's <laughs> hilarity. So from GM0, WUR, back to you. Uh, 
we have our final check-ins for the night. Net recognizing Victor Echo 7, November Zulu. Uh, also recognizing Kilo Bravo 2, Foxtrot Alpha, and Victor Echo 3, X-Ray Delta Bravo. Uh, that first one there is Doug, and I believe you're in Kitchener. Uh, if uh, the information there is coming up correctly, so uh, a very good evening to you, Doug. Uh, you're our next caller. Um, our hilarity tonight started out as uh, it's Saturday night, the movies. Uh, what movie would you choose? Um, what snack would you bring? Popcorn's off the list, because that's a bit too easy. Um, <laughs> and it kind of diversified to all sorts of other hilarity. <laughs> So uh, I'll pass it down to you next, Doug. Uh, so Victor Echo 3, X-Ray Delta Bravo. Microphone to you, sir. Well, good evening, Gareth, and everyone else on the frequency. It's uh, nice to hear everyone. I've only been listening for a few minutes this evening, but um, uh, Helen and Graham were having a good time. <laughs> um, so... Uh, Actually, there used to be a there used to be a a program on um, on TV Ontario every Saturday night um, called Saturday Night at the Movies, and it was Elwi Yost, and he used to play two movies and have interviews in between, and it used to be very enjoyable. Uh, that was uh, that was a lot of fun. Um, I like old movies, so I'm not really a movie buff anymore, but. I'll, I'll I'll say Casablanca. <laughs> That's one that was that I've always liked, and the one I can watch over and over again. I like I like that movie. Uh, in terms of treats, um, uh, homemade baking and tea is nice for Saturday night at the movies, um, which I'm often treated to. And uh, but since its last call, yeah, it's five to midnight. Uh, maybe I'll have a Guinness. Uh, so uh, back to you, Gareth. V3XDB from GM0WUR. Yeah, all understood. Um, and I have no idea why, <laughs> but the name of that program actually rings a bell. So at some point somewhere, somebody's either told me about it, I've found it on an internet search, or oh, who knows. Um, sometimes I wonder myself, my head seems to be a repository of all sorts of wonderful and extremely weird facts and half the time I have no idea where I got them from. So, <laughs> But good stuff. Thank you very much, Doug. I uh, appreciate the check-in on the net tonight uh, and uh, your comments. So I'll take it down to uh, Carl, I believe it is, and it says that you're in Trenton. Now, is that New Jersey? I think that's what was the... Uh, the, the, the uh, little two-letter symbols coming up meaning uh, for state, um, but sometimes I know I get these wrong. So KB2FA, Kilo Bravo 2, Fox Alpha. Uh, Carl, over to you, please. Greetings, Gareth and everyone on the net. This is Carl in Trenton, New Jersey. Um, let's see. I've been listening. I just figured I wanted to check in. First time on this net. Um, I would say a good sci-fi and um, my favorite probably with a, with a movie night would be uh, pizza. I do I do like pizza. So 73 all around. Everyone stay safe and back to net. GM0 WR, KB2FS. KB2FA from GM0 WUR. Yeah, all understood there. And yeah, we've had quite the diverse mix today of everything from confectionery to, to pizza. Um, we had steak in there as a <laughs> in the list somewhere as well. Uh, further up on the list, we even had an offer that if we all made it down to the local restaurant, first amateur there, we'd get bought the dinner. Um, yeah, so let's see. <laughs> it's been a fun evening, hasn't it? Um, well, pleasure to uh, be able to make the contact with you, Carl, and uh, thank you very much for checking in. Uh, this particular net, the uh, fruit salad net, <coughs> uh, runs every two weeks, um, and say so it's a combination of different styles and everything because we have our multiple net controllers, 
Um, so you have uh, net controller from uh, Freestar Network, from the International Radio Network, and from the Do Drop In Network. All the three networks combined together um, to run this particular net. So it sort of gives it quite the variety and, and much hilarity uh, that you've seen this evening. So there we go, a little tip for you. And to anyone else there that's listening, don't forget, check the websites. Uh, that's dodropin.net, freestar.network, and irn.radio are the three web addresses. Um, check those out. They've always got details of the various things that happen. So I'll take it down uh, to the last name I see on this list, uh, which is going to be Adrian, Victor Echo 7, November Zulu, VE7NZ. Adrian, how are you doing? Um, for my information, can you tell me what local time is where you are at a particular moment? Um, as uh, you might have heard me say before, I'm still getting my brain around time zones, so it's a question I like to ask every so often because it helps me understand where everyone is. B7NZ from GM0 WUR. Over to you. Yeah, B7 November Zulu coming on Echo Link in Vancouver. Vancouver, British Columbia, where the sun is whispering behind the rain and the clouds, and local time is somewhere between tea and wine. Um, it's that strange time of five minutes to 4 p.m. where you can't decide which way to go. Um, movies. The challenge is always my wife and I uh, picking something we both enjoy. Of course, I always fire up the Netflix favorite list, and she says, how come your list is full of documentaries? I always love documentaries. And uh, so, you know, we usually go through that debate. And then I suggest, well, instead of a documentary, we could watch something funny. How about Monty Python, Mel Brooks, uh, Borat? And she says, well, we've seen, you've seen all of those several times. I said, yes, but not this week. And uh, she says, I, I don't understand how you can watch the same thing over and over. And I point out that every time you get a little bit more out of it, it's like a famous painting. You know, nobody says to the Mona Lisa, people have seen it, put it away. And that's how I feel about Monty Python. So there you go. As far as snacks go, dark chocolate, red wine, if it's late in the evening. If it's early in the evening, there's nothing better than nachos. Nachos with some hot peppers and lots of cheese. VE7 November Zulu in rainy Vancouver. Uh, GM0 WUR returning. This is one of the things I love about amateur radio. Speaking to people from all around the world and all these absolutely awesomely delicious snacks that you guys do. <laughs> nachos, yeah, oh yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah, nachos, all the extra, you know, the peppers on there, the salsa and... You know, preferably the ladles of cheese in my case. <laughs> oh, that's some good stuff there, Adrian. And I know exactly what you mean about watching the same stuff over and over again because it's just so good. Um, yeah, the sort of, you know, and also the varied nature of what it is. Um, I'm sure my uh, good lady as well at times goes and has a look at the list and thinks to herself, really? <laughs> <laughs> but then again, she does know my tastes extremely well, and fortunately, majority of the stuff um, she also quite likes, and the rest of it, uh, well, she knows that I'm a, a big fan of, uh, shall we say, uh, B-list um, level uh, sci-fi uh, things, so, you know, um, yeah, that's kind of the list that I'll just watch that when I'm <laughs> sat with me by myself, um, <laughs> so yeah, it's all good stuff. Well, lovely to make the content with you, Adrian, and thank you very much for uh, all the information. Now, here we are, folks. It is officially the next day. It is officially Sunday in the UK. We are here now, midnight UK time. But I had previously said this was the final call. There would be no more. However, my fellow net controllers and I have had our discussion, and we've decided that we think... There were two other stations out there that may have been doubled or trampled, etc. So we're going to give them one last opportunity. If you're out there, if you've tried to check in and you think you got stomped on, try it one more time. Give us a call. This is GM0 WUR listening for your call signs. 
Victor Echo One, Whiskey Sierra Romeo. Okay, that's going to be it, folks. And we did get one final call sign. <laughs> Good evening to you. Um, that's uh, Victor Echo One, Whiskey Sierra Romeo. Now I've got here, it comes up as Michael in Halifax. Um, how are you, sir? <clears throat> what kind of day you had? And uh, our theme was, uh, was, is, movie night. Um, what would be your favourite film, your go-to movie for a movie night? And what would you like as regards uh, the, the snacks, the treats, the edibles, the whatever, uh, the things that make a movie night what it is for you? Uh, VE1WSR from GM0WUR. Victor Echo One Whiskey Sierra Romeo. Yeah, good evening. The uh, name here is Mike. I am from Halifax, over. I'm currently sitting in the uh, Dominican Republic. Beautiful, 30. Well, it's the temperature right now, 31 degrees, and that's at uh, 8 p.m. in the evening. Hot. <laughs> uh, as for movies, uh, I guess the action adventure. And I guess it's already been mentioned, but uh, the preference would be uh, nachos, I guess, with uh, plenty of cheddar cheese and hot peppers. Aye, aye. From gm 0 wur well, thank you very much, Mike. And, uh, yeah, it sounds lovely. And, yeah, there's something to be said for nachos, isn't there? Uh, nachos with the hot peppers, all the trimmings to go with it. That's just delightful. Um, do you know what, that's gonna, <laughs> I'm going to have to go and put this on my shopping list. I've got to go shopping tomorrow. Um, <laughs> wife told me earlier, we've run out of the essentials. We've run out of eggs. We've run out of bread. So I need to get down to the shops in the morning. And to be honest, at this rate, I'm going to be getting the nachos and the toppings and, and everything else with it and doing a movie night myself. Because <laughs> this has been an absolute blast. So, yeah, really good stuff. And an absolute pleasure to have you checking into the net there, Mike. Um, as I said earlier on, this particular net runs every two weeks, um, but there's loads of nets that uh, that are operating all the different days. And in fact, I think it's probably safe to say there's one every day of the week. Um, or uh, even if there's maybe not a formal net, um, we uh, do have sort of the various, uh, shall we call them, uh, rack queue evenings, you know, throw it out, bake a QSO, have a contact, and, and many other activities which are all great fun. <clears throat> so. Pleasure speaking to you. And uh, right, at this point, I shall um, do the proverbial tying of the ribbon. So I'll just take a pip. Okie dokie, GM0, WUR returning. So on behalf of uh, the three networks, uh, do drop in, the International Radio Network and the B-Star Network, I'd like to thank everybody um, that has uh, checked in to the net today. Uh, we really, we've had an absolute blast. Uh, all of those uh, that have been net controllers, um, and plus there's, there's various other people as well in the background. You know, there's various technical people and stuff that are all keeping all these connections and everything else running. Um, your efforts are all greatly appreciated. Remind everyone, please check out the websites. Um, that's uh, www dot freestar dot network www dot irn dot radio and www dot do drop in dot net three websites and uh, also check social medias as well you'll find lots of information so once again thank you to everyone that's participated thank you everyone that's made this net possible and that, of course, includes, all importantly, all of those lovely amateurs out there that have connected their nodes, gateways, repeaters, and all the other systems that make the networks what they are and make this happen. So thank you once again, and uh, on behalf of uh, everyone on the Fruit Salad Net tonight, uh, I am Gareth, Golf Mike Zero, Whiskey Uniform Romeo, operating from Stirling in Scotland, and I'm returning all the connections to normal amateur radio use. 
Take care, everybody. Thank you once again, and we look forward to seeing you on the next Fruit Salad Net. Best 73 is all. Job to you as well, Gareth. Kitty, oh, hey, kitty. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Hey, kitty, oh, everybody. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not strangling him. It must have been that scud in the back of the game. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you. Wonderful night. Thank you so much for all your contributions. Take care, everybody. We'll talk to you soon again. This is GM Zero UGB along with Mike Mike Seven. Hotel Quebec, Sierra, Helen, yeah. Queen of Scotland, and we're saying good night all. It's amazing you're hanging around. And you, yeah, you'll get it later. I uh, will, okay. Yeah, cheerio. Cheerio! <laughs> uh, give a little scud in his lug. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, good night, everybody, and thank you very much for it. It was a brilliant night. Two years of the YWP. Yeah, good night. Hey, everybody. Uh, from N4 UPC, awesome net.